I have no problem with a man doing good for a woman that does good for you. Mm. This woman is contributing to your life, she's helping you, she's making your life easier. Mm. And you have more money than her, you have more resources than her. There's nothing wrong with giving her resources, there's nothing wrong with helping her grow. But if a woman is treating you bad and you still stay there and you are still doing good for her, mm. you are see Most men tend to put a relationship with women very up there. If a man's relationship life is not going well, he is more bothered than if he doesn't even have money. A man might not have money and might just be living his life, but if he doesn't have a good relationship with a woman, mm. Uh, he's thinking hard, hard, hard words, thinking about me, happy, thinking about me. He's more worried about his relationship life than any other aspect of his life. You see, a man feels, ah, when I do so much for you, when I show you that I love you so much, you should show me back. You should instantly or naturally reciprocate. But no, it doesn't work that way. Most cases, when a man starts to show with emotion, starts to do things for the woman, every day I love you, every day I want to be with you, where are you, mm. trying to know where she is, trying to know everything about her. Push her away. Mm. Push her away. Because it seems like you are, you are strangulating her. A woman is not just a woman by herself. Women are very open to influence by friends. A woman may be a good woman, but I've, I've heard so many stories of men. They tell me, ah, this girl is a good girl, but her mother is the problem. This girl is a good girl, but her friends. It gets mm. to a point where ah, you are doing for this girl, her friends are now like that. They will be pushing her to extort you. Her mother will push her to extort you. Mm. Her friends will push her to extort you. And no matter how good she is, she will think about those things. And you will see a and representation of, that, or, 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 of those advice is in the way she treats so you see a man sets the tone of the relationship number one you should never use you know, like in an argumentative let's say you guys are talking and then it's getting there's no need to raise your voice mm. as the man if ever i need to show this dominance this i'm a man you must respect me no that's the mistake that most men make mm-hmm. you're not entitled to any respect from any woman you don't you don't you don't deserve any respect you only earn it that's why you're earning it from that one woman most men think ah, uh, every woman is below them. No, not every man, woman is below you. Not every woman is your subordinate. The only, the, the only woman who is, who is supposed to be your neck and the head is the woman who allows you to be her head. So your wife can wake up one day and decide not to respect you anymore and decide not to listen to you anymore. What do you know? A man can only really, really be heartbroken to a point where it will affect his daily life if he's so focused on that woman. That means he could leave work for her. That means he could forfeit his passions for that woman. Mm. That's a man that has not built himself. Mm. A man that has built himself. It's hard for a breakup to keep him down. Wow. He might be heartbroken, but he'll still do what he has to do with his life. Any man who is in a rush to get married or to be in a relationship he always miss the signs. Mm. That's why they men go for connection first. The signs are always clear. Men let love blind their eyes. Men let rushing into a relationship. They want someone to just be their own as soon as possible. With the girl, they are so overwhelmed. You love her so much. I want this girl so much. You are you don't you're looking at you're not looking for how to impress her to get her to the relationship with you. Mm. You miss so many signs. Women test men all the time. What you allow. See a bad woman to this man can be a good woman to another man, depending on how the man is. And the best way to be to a woman is to always be calm, to always be chill. Let her do what she wants. Let her see what she wants to see. Analyze her. You like this woman to analyze. Her. But when you now say that this woman is not the one for me, move her. Hello, welcome to another episode of Salah Meditate, where we bring up topics that are going to challenge you and also inspire you to do great things with your life. So today, I have a very good friend here, Great O. We're going to be discussing and dissecting relationship and how you can do better in your relationship and also achieve more. So my name remains Benzik and I welcome to you, Great O. Guy, Thank you very much for having me. welcome. Thank it's you good to see you today. You, you have been doing a good you. job. You've been doing a very good job. Thank you, bro. It's Thank good to you. see you today. Thank you. So, just give us a brief introduction of you and then let's see where we start from. My name is Greto. Yeah. Um, very great. That's my full name. Yeah. It uh, was more to me. I just I just have a passion for educating men, you know, mm-hmm. improving men's life. That's my passion life. And um, it, it's unfortunate that I've focused very well on relationships because mm-hmm. there are other aspects of a man's life again. Mm-hmm. But it seems relationships. Or relationship in general is what most men look forward to. Like that, the, the, the partner a man picks is very, very, um, how would I put it now? It's something that he looks forward to all his life. Oh, the woman I'll get married to. So it's a big factor in a man's life. Mm-hmm. And most men tend to put the relationship with women very up there. You know, if a man's relationship life is not going well, he is more bothered 
you know, than if he doesn't even have money. Yeah. A man might not have money and might just be living his life, but if he doesn't have a good relationship with a woman, mm. you know, he's thinking how how the world thinking about me, how are people thinking about me. Yeah. You know, he's more worried about his relationship life than any other aspect of his life. Mm. And that's just the truth. So that's why I say it's unfortunate that I've focused more on relationships than other aspects of men men's life. But as time goes on, I, I'm sure um motivation will come up or how would I be now? Um Inspiration. Inspiration. Inspiration mm-hmm. will come up for that. So mm-hmm. the time well, I would delve more into other aspects of you know the life of your Do life. you consider yourself an alpha male? An alpha male. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, but I don't think I'm an alpha male. An, uh, an alpha male is a man who always wants to be a leader. He okay. always wants to be above. He has this instinct to lead people. Mm-hmm. And it's not a bad thing, mm-hmm. but it can be misrepresented. Mm-hmm. You know, they are being an alpha male and a narcissist. And the narcissist is a very, very thin very line, thin thing. line the chain bottom, so yeah. if you are able to call yourself an alpha male mm. and then you're able to carry yourself with uh you know look at other people with empathy mm. you know allow um for compromise mm. tolerance you're able to tolerate, tolerate other people and and look at them with empathy mm. and you're able to function with people maximally to mm. them, when they love you mm. and they want you to lead them mm. and that's not a bad thing mm-hmm. but if you if you impose yourself on people you want to behave as if you are better than other people Mm-hmm. Uh, I, don't, I don't think that's a good thing, and that's what the term alpha male has been related to in this day and age. Mm-hmm. Alpha male is the person who thinks that who doesn't care about women, he just feels like uh, women are, are below him, you know, he's in a relationship, he's the, the other part of the Do you think it's about being women being below, or the person just having self confidence for himself? Just trying to champion relationship, like trying to ensure that there is a no nonsense person I in a relationship. In a, in a relationship, uh, the man should be the leader. That's yes. what I believe. Uh-huh. If it can work well in any other relationship, that mm-hmm. woman can be the leader, and, and the man, so um, um, you know, submits to her. If it works for any man, fine. Mm-hmm. Do your thing. No, my, not my business. But for me, I believe the man should be the leader of the relationship. But being a leader doesn't mean imposing. You know, that's why I tell men, you cannot force a woman to respect you. Mm-hmm. You cannot make a woman behave the, in, in, in the kind of way that you want her to behave. Mm-hmm. You understand? You need to let her. And I think that that's the, um, that's a, one of the attributes of a Sigma male. Mm-hmm. Sigma male is just a guy that relaxes. Or anything that happens, happens. Or a guy himself is some. But I don't like to call myself anything. I'm just, mm-hmm. I'm just great. I'm just a man living my life. I'm mm. trying to impact other that man mm. positively, mm. you know. And some women might not like it, but there's no problem. Mm. You sh- like share your uh, your relationship experiences and how it led you to this part. In my relationship experiences, I've I've I have been in multiple relationships, but you know, people tend to think that I've been heartbroken before. Oh, this guy, a uh, woman was that shown him shaky. But mm. if I look back, and uh, no, no woman has really, no woman has showed me any shaky. In fact, if, if we want to say the truth, I've been the one showing to Shege. <laughs> and it's not that it's, it's the right thing to do, but that's just the, the reality. Yeah. That's, that's just the reality. And um, if I even look back, I blame myself for my past few relationships. Mm-hmm. Yes, I do. I don't, I don't blame any woman. I, I, you know, no matter what happens in a relationship, I always blame the man. You understand? Because you're meant to be the leader. And as a leader, you don't force people to follow you. Mm. They either follow you on their own volition or you let them go. Mm. That's why my one of my popular saying is let her go. If she's not behaving in the way that you want, there's no way you can change somebody. Or you can try and talk to her one or two times. If mm. she's not behaving like she wants to change or she's not making some changes, mm. you just have to leave. If you cannot leave, you manage it. But me, I don't want any man to be unhappy. So my I always preach let her go if she's not the kind of man you want. Don't try to change her. Don't try to force her. You see, the woman that listens to you and is open to your leadership, she mm-hmm. will definitely find ways to, you know, balance some things. And also you, you might have some flaws also. And some so you have never experienced that. heartbreak before, you yourself in person? I have, I have. How, how, what, what, what happened and how did it, what transpired it? Okay, if I, the heartbreak I've ever experienced was, it was a very short relationship. Okay. That's why I say I blame myself for it. You know, I met this girl, then um, I, I just find, found myself so much in love with her. You know, and I proposed a relationship the next day after I met her, mm. and she agreed. And then we started dating, but she was not giving me as much attention. She was not giving me, you know, the vibes mm. to get. So I was now like pushed to like, okay, I will send out messages. She will not reply. I will call her. She will, she will not pick. Sometimes she will pick. You know, that, that kind of scenario. Mm. And so 
one day I think I was just telling my friend about this situation and he was like send her a message like a kind of subtle trait like if you don't reply if you don't reply me um, consider us done yeah. and she replied that message said okay you understand after like it's after like two three weeks a very short relationship and that, that her relationship ended and then I was now trying to I was just joking I was just trying to get your attention and everything explain myself but she never came back so mm -hmm. I was heartbroken. Mm. Yeah, so that was the and so if you said you have, I mean, you have been with, with her for like a uh, few months or a few weeks three weeks three weeks yeah. then can you call that one a relationship because relationship that you can call heartbroken relationship maybe the one you have been with someone for like a year yeah, two but, years but the truth is that i was really 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 in love with it yeah. uh, well it, maybe it was lost maybe it was not love Mm. Uh, but yeah. I found myself really, really drawn and attracted to her. Because we define heartbreak that when you and someone have already been in love, in love relationship together, okay, and now, then along the line, okay. the person decides to jilt, this, and then this, can be heartbroken. This is where the heartbreak comes in. Uh -huh. She now, in, in, I was staying in a hostel that time when I was, I was in school. Mm. You understand? So she now started dating my school son. Ah. Uh -huh. Yeah. And they dated for long, so she always come around and I was things that she never did for me she was doing it for him mm. you get and i was still trying to get her back in the process texting her you know calling her so th that was my heartbreak experience did you know? she accept your relationship proposal yes she did okay that means you guys discussed relationship she accepted yes, and you guys did. started dating yeah and it only happened for three weeks yeah three weeks i've never seen a short relationship like that but apart from that which other one have you been there maybe have spent a while have been a while or how many relations can you count that you've been in the past? I know, multiple, multiple. I can't, I can't count. I can't count. But if I think about another heartbreak, yeah, it was um, I met this girl. Mm. Things were going well, and then all of a sudden she, I didn't hear from her again. It was maybe after like one two months, mm. and she was on my mind for a very long time, you know. But um, I had a number. I was calling her. She would not. She she was not giving me attention anymore. Mm. So I just simply deleted her number and relaxed. And I, I, I thought I would relax after I did that number, but she was on my mind for like two months, three months. And I was just there thinking about her, like I would just be on my seat like this. And let's say six hours would go, would go by and I would just come to my sense and more, maybe from 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. I would just be on that chair thinking about this girl. But I deleted her number, I don't know where she stays, mm -hmm. you know. And that, I, I, I can also consider that a heartbreak. Mm -hmm. but I had to go through that process. That's why I tell men that... Mm -hmm. um, if she's not behaving, if she's not giving you attention, if not, stop forcing yourself on her. Mm. You understand? Just mm. let her go. And I let her go and that girl came back. Mm. Because based on based on your content and yeah. all you have been posting so far, someone will think or someone will ask, what inspired all of it? Where did you just sit down one day and wake up and say, Okay, I just want to address men or it past experiences, relationship, because someone will say maybe it's past experiences and relationship. Like you say, you've been in multiple relationships before. Maybe that is what inspired your philosophy. In your line of work and your line of content. Well, the, the truth is that my philosophy works, you see, and I believe this was something that I was born to do, you know, help men in any way I can, mm -hmm. build men. I mean, that's my passion. That's that's what God put in me, and that's why it comes easily for me to just release what He has put in me. Mm -hmm. you know, so this is my God-given assignment on it. That's what I believe. So, you know, when I started, mm -hmm. I didn't have as much experience, but I, you know doing this and talking to thousands of men mm. over the span of like three years you know if even if i've never been in a relationship before mm. and i've gotten the experience of so many so many men mm. and i've advised them mm. and they have put my advice to practice and it has worked for them you know it has reversed their situation mm. let's say the, the major complaint of most men is that ah, my, my girl is behaving this way that mm. i like i've talked to her talked to her she doesn't want it. and i tell her okay see you you cannot keep talking mm. it will not solve it will not you have tried talking it did not work you have to try something else mm. if she behaves this way that you don't like you simply remove your attention from her whether you're thinking about how it doesn't matter you don't follow your feelings to lead a relationship mm. if you have a vision for a relationship you need to understand that there are sometimes when your woman will not feel okay with your decision mm. you understand me but you have to take them you should not be afraid to to hurt her feelings if you know that what you are doing will benefit her in the long run, benefit mm. the relationship in the long run. Just like mm. you have a child, you know, and the child has maybe diabetes, mm. and then the child is crying and begging you for ice cream. You'd be a fool to give that child. So that child will cry. Mm. That child will be unhappy. You mm. understand? Mm. But at the end of the day, you are doing it for the for, for the child's good. You understand? So if you have a relationship, you want to build a relationship. Mm. You have to learn that 
There's some things your woman has to unlearn. Mm. And there's a way you have to train her. But before you talk about building a woman up and training her, you need to understand yourself first. You need to know. That's why I said empathy. That's where empathy comes in. Sometimes in my relationship, I might be, maybe my girl does something wrong and I'm, I'm not happy with her. Mm. You know, Most times I don't, the, 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 the best way that I react to when my woman is not doing things I don't like, I just simply chill, remove my, I don't pay any attention. If my text me, I won't reply mm. until you apologize for what you have done. I feel free to apologize. If that's a relationship you want to end, that's how it ends. Now, who do you consider a simp in a relationship? Yes. I have no problem with a man doing good for a woman that does good for him. Mm. This woman is contributing to your life. She's helping you. She's making your life easier. Mm. And you have more money than her. You have more resources than her. It's nothing wrong with giving her resources. Nothing wrong with helping her grow. But if a woman is treating you badly, and you still stay there, and you are still doing good for her, mm. you are a simp. Mm. But if a woman is good to you, mm. there's no problem with being good to her. Why should you? Why should you? Why should you lose a good woman because you you are you 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 are afraid of being a simp? I don't think any man should be afraid of being a simp. Mm. In fact, I simp sometimes <laughs> in, in the the ideal sense. You can you can simp. You know, there are some, like I, I was making a point just now. I said mm. that sometimes when I might be angry with with, with my woman mm. and then. At the point, I just like, I'm just let it go. It doesn't, it doesn't mean anything. Mm. I'm not talking to her again. Almost, you'll be shocked mm. because that's not the way I react normally. Mm. Normally, I would just chill. But sometimes, I, I really want to call you. I'll talk like if nothing has happened. I mm. just want to relax. Let's forget this issue. Mm. It doesn't matter in the long term. In the long run, it doesn't really make any difference. You understand? But for things that will make a difference, like this, like disrespect and some. I have to call you out on it and tell you this thing you did. I don't like. It. Mm. And if you don't want to apologize, mm. I will chill. You understand i will just relax and i'll let you do your thing and so i don't enter a relationship with fear or insecurity i've, I've passed that stage where i'm scared of losing a woman mm. because i have i have lost too many in the past that i i will tell you that i would have married that girl if she had behaved well so mm. you understand and most times i'm saying behavior behavior it's not like i'm perfect mm. you get i i i'm introspective also i look at i look at myself sometimes and i say i see you are doing really good and then I apologize when I see that I'm wrong, you know. I am I'm, I'm very apathetic. I, I, sometimes you, you expect me to be angry with you, but I will not be angry. You, you get so that's the kind of if if your woman keeps on behaving in ways you don't like, mm. you cannot keep on punishing her the same way. Mm. She gets used to the way you respond. Mm. You understand? And then it doesn't matter anymore. So sometimes you can be angry and just ah, this thing you did, I don't like it, and then move away. Sometimes you can be angry and still stay. You understand? Mm. I can, I'm not sure I can be, if I get married and I'm in my house and my woman does something wrong, mm. I will not, um, I'm not, even if you were angry with me, I will mm. talk to you. you mm. I will say, uh, help me bring this, help me. I will still talk to you, but I'm angry with you. You know that there's a problem, but I will not chill and uh, I cannot stay in a place where people are not happy. Mm. So even though you, are do, you, are, you, are, you, are, you did something wrong, I will still talk to you. I will still, we will still laugh, and, but we still must revisit that thing. Mm. But for the time being that you don't want to apologize. It doesn't mm. mean that I, you're, you're, I'm married to you. There's no way I can go. Because most people consider uh, men that are same as more or less like, if it doesn't necessarily mean that the woman is treating you bad, but maybe you are uh, taking care of her school fees, you are taking care of her siblings, taking care of everybody, as in doing everything that humanly possible, yes. how far that is supposed to do for her. Not that she's actually doing you bad, mm -hmm. but she's just there. But maybe, and you maybe you don't even know. Maybe that is the reason why she's there. All the things you are doing there, for her. There is something I hate. Yes. In types of men, you see, doing all those things you have said, is mm. impossible for a man to do those things for a woman constantly mm. and not risk disrespect, because entitlement breeds disrespect. Expectation, a woman's expectation of you brings disrespect, mm. brings disdain. It can even bring resentment when you are not consistently following up. Let's say you have been taking care of a woman for four years, mm. and then the fifth year, you cannot now pay her school fees. Mm. That woman will complain to you like if you are a father. Good. And me, I don't want that. If I cannot pay, if, if I was helping you, before, that's where disrespect comes. That, that's where she starts to treat you badly. Do you mm. understand? Because you cannot completely provide for a woman. It's impossible. So you need to marry a woman who can understand, who understands mm. that you cannot completely provide for her. Mm. You understand that there, when times come when you cannot do what you have been doing before, she comes in and tries to find a way. She encourages you instead of even, um, but 
the instead of you know talking down on you and the sad reality is that that is the way most women are mm-hmm. you understand when you cannot come true for them it will happen to me today when you cannot come true for them you start to sense some disrespect in their tone you understand instead of building you up you start to see some kind of tearing so down. you as you permit people uh, or guys to take care of their woman with their school fees or everything like that to send the girl to school it's, it's not your it's not your problem if you have money send your sister to school send your mother to adult education mm. you have no business sending a girl to school but if you can do it mm. and you're okay with you see if i have no problem with any man doing anything but don't have any expectation okay you the see, expectation is the i thing. now i can see a boy maybe i go to a, a, my mechanic mm. and i see a, a one of um one of the mechanic boys mm. he wants to go to school and he doesn't have um, means to i can send him to school i can maybe in my work in my place of work mm. is a girl that sells bonds or sells something and i see and i interact with her and i mm. say this girl is really smart ah, are you going to school no I'm, I'm not in school yet i'll be like okay if i have the resources i can do that without any expectation if you can take care of your girlfriend without expecting anything in return mm. if you can take care of your girlfriend putting into consideration that she can she can be ungrateful in the future mm. she can disregard what you have done for her in the future if you can do that I'm fine with that. No mm, then even if in the long run, you yeah. don't, you, 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 you are not bothered about it. Is it possible for a man to make investment without wanting something back in return? Mm. It's in it in every man to make investment and want to see return. Mm. If you take care of a woman, you want to, you want her to impute back into your family. The family you guys are trying to build, you want to see her input. I was talking to a man um, two days ago, and he was telling me about um, sending his girl to school so that she can teach. His, uh, his children mm. when well, as the assignment and i say if that's your reason for wanting to send a woman to school why don't you marry a woman who's already gone to school why not find a woman who's already gone to school why go to that stress of you say uh, maybe i might be in love with her if i love with her let her find means to go to school on her own mm. if you can send her to school fine but don't expect that this woman and the truth is that when you continue to do things for most women mm. there are things to consider a woman is not just a woman by herself. Women are very open to influence by friends. By far. A woman may be a good woman, but I've, I've heard so many stories of men. They tell me, ah, this girl is a good girl, but her mother is the problem. This girl is a good girl, but her friends. Do you understand? It gets mm-hmm. to a point where ah, you are doing for this girl, doing her friends are now like, ah, connect. They will be pushing her to extort you. Her mother will push her to extort you. Mm-hmm. Her friends will push her to extort you. And no matter how good she is, mm-hmm. she will think about those things. And you will see a, repl- a, 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 a representation of that or, or, or of those advices in the way she treats you. So what do you do? What you do at that point in time is to stop. You see, you need to make her realize that what you are doing for her is she's not entitled to what you are doing for her. Mm-hmm. Do you understand? Mm-hmm. I was talking to a man like two weeks ago. I went to his house for this particular consultation, mm-hmm. and he was telling me how he sent a girl abroad, how he. Took care of this girl like took care of everything including her parents did everything for her mm. you understand and this girl does not still respect him mm. but me i know myself maybe not other men if if you do something little for me even though it doesn't affect my life so much mm. i'm forever loyal to you because you had the choice not to do it but i wonder why women are not like that you say it's his job it's his job only if he realizes it's his job so marry a husband who realizes but if you marry a man or you choose to be with a man who doesn't realize <coughs> that providing for you mm-hmm. is a responsibility you don't force him into doing it don't talk down on him don't make him leave that man the same advice i give to women is the same advice i give the same advice i give to men the same advice i give to women so do you take it that it's men are the sole providers or it roles, ro- ro- those roles should be shared for me Mm. I want to have enough money to provide for my family and not care about what my woman makes. That's my prayer. Okay. But if it happens, you understand, that we make almost as much, mm. uh, we make almost as much, uh, like we make almost equal, like we make, we, have, we get almost the same income. And there, there should be a way we can share it. Even if you don't want to give more, there's no problem. I know I, I've already accepted that fact that women are like that. If they even give you something, they find a way to collect it back. Mm. You understand? Most women, that's the mentality they have. And there's no problem but if we are earning almost the same mm. i don't think it's fair for you to leave the sole responsibility on me it's not fair it's about fair or about rule I, I think that's that's the reason why they said that's that why relationships the, are unique 
Mm. You know, the relationship I have with my woman, you know, the same relationship you have with your woman. So you guys come to that understanding. So find what works for you. Find the woman that works for you. And if she doesn't, forget about love. Love should not lead your marriage. I mean, lead you into marriage. Love should not lead you into a relationship. You should have love for your partner. But there are other things that matter. Because that love can quickly turn into resentment. Mm. Okay. If your partner does not act in the way that you expect them to act. Mm. You understand? Is so it? communication is also key in that aspect. Also. Okay. So you should talk to your partner. So that you guys understand each other and understand what you guys want out of the relationship. Mm. If you can tab- if you can tabulate it, like, what are the four or five major mistakes you see guys make in relationship these days? Okay, number one mistake that I see most guys make is not being calm. Calm. You see, a man sets the tone of the relationship. Number one, you should never use, you know, like, in an argumentative, let's say you guys are talking and then it's getting, there's no need to raise your voice. You know, for any other reason, do radio. But when you guys are conversing, when you guys are communicating, mm. as the man, if ever I need to show this dominance, this I'm a man, you must respect me. No, that was the mistake that most men make. Mm-hmm. You're not entitled to any respect from any woman. You're not, you don't you don't you don't deserve any respect. You only earn it. That's why you are earning it from that one woman. Most men think ah uh, the, every woman is below them. No, not every man, woman is below you. Not every woman is your subordinate. It's the only the, the only woman who is who is supposed to be your neck as the head is a woman who allows you to be her head. Mm. So your wife can wake up one day and decide not to respect you anymore and decide not to listen to you anymore. What do you now do? Then you start fighting or you start shouting or you start, what does that solve? Nothing. So number one mistake that I see men make is not being, not being calm. calm. You need to be calm. If your man says that you're calm, you set tone for relationship. And in my relationship, since I started practicing this calmness and this stillness i've never had a woman shout at me but previously when we are she, but you, you, as a man you said the tone of relation whenever she shouts at you for the first few times when she does it because mm. she will do it mm. she will do it it's just normal she will do it so mm. the first few times when she do it, you tell her i don't like it mm. no matter what you will see that with time if you train her to be like that mm. she will never raise a voice at you you never raise a voice at you never raise a voice at her and you guys maintain that that, that standard that calm tone, okay. You understand? So a man should always remain calm. Never ever for any reason try to show uh, that you are stronger, that you are in a bad way, you know, helping out because you are physically stronger. There's no problem. But never raise your shoulder or try to make a woman feel mm-hmm. like if she's below you, like telling her that if, it, if <laughs> women already feel like if they are being suppressed, women feel already feel like if they are weak. Mm-hmm. You understand? Mm-hmm. So you're not coming to show them that uh, you are you are you are better than them in any aspect or you know more than them or you there's no need for that you don't want a woman to be fighting you more 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 so your woman you don't want your woman to fight you you guys are you have a vision for the relationship you want it to lead to marriage or whatever you want it to lead to mm-hmm. you want this relationship to be cordial you want it to be calm you mm-hmm. want it to be you want it to go well so always maintain your cool no matter what if you cannot leave leave the leave where she is you know leave her and go and cool off or whatever but there's no need to shout because it's from that shouting that domestic violence happens and all those kind of things. so there's no need to even start it okay. the vibe of relationship should always be everybody is cool calm and collected that's we talk to one. each other with respect okay that's number one always be calm no matter the situation always sure that you are you are you are in control of yourself you yeah, understand? that's true so number one mm. be calm Okay. Number two mistake I see men make is investing their emotions into relationship hmm. before the woman. Hmm. I'm sorry, women are more emotional. When a woman loves you, you will know. She will she will give you her all. Hmm. You just you see eh, in if a woman loves you, eh, or not let's just say love, but what women work with first is attraction. Even a man. But you see female attraction works stronger. If a woman is attracted to you, she always wants to be around you. Okay. Do you understand? Mm-hmm. Same with men, but there's, there's a difference in the way a woman loves. When a woman loves, she wants to cater to you. She wants to, she's, she's concerned about you. Mm. You know, a man can love by provision. A man mm. can love by other means. But women love by empathy, nurturing, care. You mm, understand? Yeah. So attraction is the baseline then before love comes in. But once a woman's attracted to you, she's already behaving like she's in love with you. Mm. Mm. But a man can be attracted to a woman. Just for the purpose of sleeping with her. Yeah. A woman too, fine. But in most cases, that attraction that a woman has, has for you, mm. if a woman can give you attention, she mm. can get married to you. 
you understand? There's a possibility of a long-term relationship. Even though she just wants sex, when she's just she's lusting after you. Mm. A woman's own can start from lust. You understand? A woman's love for you can start from lust. But a man's love can never start from lust. Once a man is lusting after you, he's lusting after you. He gets what he wants. He's Vanish. still lusting after you. He leaves. But a woman's love, a woman's love can start from lust. She can lust after you, then you come in, then you show her that ah, you're a different kind of man, and then she starts developing stronger feelings. Mm. And then, but for a man, once he looks at a woman and he has analyzed her, this one is no marriage material. She's just for knacks. Yes. Most men are like that. Mm. Most I'm even like that. <laughs> mm. So so investing your emotion, the emotion before the woman. Before the woman, let the woman invest that emotion. Let her let her come. I'm not saying you you be a brick wall. Mm. You are yourself, but this woman has come. Let me give you a scenario where a man invests his emotions first yes. before a woman. Mm. Because that's what leads to most disappointment. Mm. You see, a man feels, ah, when I do so much for you, when I show you that I love you so much, you should show me back. Mm. You should instantly or naturally... Reciprocate. But no, it doesn't work that way. Mm. You understand? It doesn't mm. work that way. Most cases, when a man starts to show his emotions, he starts to do things for the woman. Every day I love you. Every day I want to be with you. Where are you? Mm. Trying to know where she is. Trying to know everything about her. You push her away. Mm. You push her away. Because it seems like if you are, you are strangulating her. Mm. This will only be false if she loves you more than... Or she is attracted to you more than, more than you are you, you, But you don't know. Yes. You understand? But mm. she has not vocalized it. But she actually... Actually, maybe for me hard to get. Mm. <laughs> Because that happens in most cases. Mm. I told you before, women take advice from so many people. Once they start talking to a man, they like her friends know. Mm. If, her, if she's close to her mom, her mom no, you know, uh, her mother knows. So she's taking advice from these people and says, ah, this way is behaving. They will tell her what to do. And in most cases than not, she will take the advice. You understand? She will mm. take the advice. That's why it's easy for a man to influence his woman. It's just when you don't know how to do it, that's where the problem comes. That's why I say to men, calm. You cannot mm. be shaken. If you if you if you behave like a woman to a woman, women are the ones who naturally lose their cool and you know, cry most times, um, behave behave er- erratically. Mm. But a, a man, you should not. You should be the pillar. You should show that you're an emotionally stable man mm. because that's the only way a woman can become emotionally attached to you. And if an emotional attachment is stronger than love, when a woman is emotionally attached to you, she's to a healthy extent obsessed with you, mm. obsessed with your passions. She's helping you do the things that you're already involved in. You know, your your destiny aligns with hers. Mm. You get mm. whatever you're doing interests her. She wants to learn. Let's say you, you're, you're a videographer. She's interested in she suddenly develops interest for cameras. And mm. She just wants to help you in whatever way she can. Mm. You know, that's a woman's that's the way a woman shows you her love. So you own you should not invest your own emotion first of all before her. Yes, let her invest her emotion. Let her come. That's why me these days. When I, I meet a woman, I start trying to get to know you. Any brick wall at all, I'm gone. Mm. I don't. If you want to marry a woman who is who is who, when she, once she sees you, she she feels so good. Mm. You understand? That that's the best kind of relationship. I mean, I want the best. I don't want to force any woman to be with me. I don't want to coerce any woman to be with me. I don't want mm. to use anything mm. I have to make to you make her be. No, I don't want to 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 entice you with to money or anything. No. no. I want it to come naturally. And if I never find a woman who, you know, comes at me naturally, I'm, I, then I never get married. Mm. And I'm okay with that. Because I want my relationship to be the best. And if it's not the best, I'd rather stay alone. You know, I'd rather stay alone. So, okay. you want a woman who has, invested has relationship. emotions for you. Like, her emotions, emotions. She's not scared of showing you her emotions. She's mm. not scared of... That's the only kind of woman that can be... That's the only woman that can be emotionally um, attached to you. Mm. You understand? Any woman who is not so free emotionally around you, who cannot tell you her, tell you what's going on in her life, who cannot, she who doesn't see you as this one is this is my rock. This is the man I tell everything to. This is the guy who should know it, must know everything about me. There's nothing mm. that goes on in my life mm. without him knowing. If a mm. woman has not come to that realization when she looks at you, then I'm sorry, bro. You might marry her. You see, a woman can love you and still even give you stress. A woman mm. can love you and still destroy your life. It's very possible. Hmm. You understand? So that's why I say love is not the main thing. Look at the character of you of this woman. Hmm. Look at what does she what does she have to offer aside this love? 
Mm. You understand? What does what she do with her life? What are her passions? What do they align with my own? That's how you mm. pick a woman. Don't invest your emotions first. Yeah, for her. Let her because she's more emotional naturally. So she should she should come in with her emotion mm. and then you meet her somewhere along the way. So that's number two. Now number three is accepting disrespect. You see, most men accept disrespect, especially at the beginning of the relationship, because you don't want to spoil things. I've been there before when you meet a new girl and she does something you don't like, but you don't want to spoil the vibe mm. at that initial time by telling her, you know, this thing is uh, not this good. Video, I don't like it. You see, it, 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 why men, I, I think now, uh, I, now that I think about it, I think why men find it hard to, uh, to communicate their displeasures is because they don't know how to communicate their displeasures in a way that will not get the woman angry or get her pissed. It's a way to say something and not say it. It's a way to say something. You see, if a woman, like, I'm, I'm chatting with you, I just met you, we are talking, and vibes going, and then you, maybe you say something that's out of line, you know, and I'm not comfortable with this thing. I won't reply you as fast as I'm replying you. You as a human being, you know that ah, something is wrong, and I'll continue replying you. But I've noticed that when I do that, the woman never does, the woman never does that thing again. Or maybe it's just a one-time thing you should overlook. That's why I said empathy. That's what there are times when you just think, ah, this thing doesn't matter. Just let it go. You understand? Mm. There's mm. some things that matter mm. that you should call out. Mm. But at the beginning stages, you don't want to express your displeasure because mm. you know you think it'll push you away. But mm. actually, completing your displeasure actually makes a woman respect you more. You okay. understand? The more things you find that you cannot be, the, 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 the more ways you, you are correcting you her or behave. something. Yes. 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 The more ways you find that you cannot misbehave around you, the more she aligns you, the more she around aligns with you. So mm. the more you get what you want, mm. but the more you let her do what she wants to do because mm. you don't want to get her angry. That's why I said she before, wouldn't even know. So what you have to risk hurting her feelings if you want her to align with the kind of woman that you want her to be. Mm. You understand? So mm. you need to re- you need to risk hurting her feelings. Mm. You understand? In the long term, she'll be grateful to you for mm. it. Because by then, at least she will know what and what that you don't like, yes. and because and if not, she will just she look just, at you that you, you like just everything. See that, ah, this woman is my kind of woman. She's already behaving like the kind of woman I want. Mm. Because little by little, you have been setting down some some boundaries without really doing it. Mm. You understand? So, mm. a man should communicate his displeasures okay. always. That's number three. Either by removing your attention or by saying it out loud. But at the beginning stages, what I do is just remove my attention for a while, then mm. I come back to you, and I have noticed that the woman knows. Women test men all the time. What you allow, you see, a bad woman to this man can be a good woman to another man, mm. depending on how the man is. You True. understand? Mm. And the best way to be to a woman is to always be calm, to always be chill. Let her do what she wants to do. Let her see what she wants to say. Analyze her. You like this woman, analyze. But when you now say that oh, this woman is not the one for me, you move her. You move. You understand? So okay. be strategic in your relationship. Communicate you your displeasure. You just Communicate or display. Mm. Whenever you are unhappy with something she has done, communicate it. If she's doing so many things to the point where you find it hard to communicate your your because you, it now sounds like if you are you are you are, not, you are always mm. nagging and complaining. Mm. That's the telltale sign to leave that relationship. Or oh, she keeps that. repeating the yes. same things over and over. But like again. I tell people, I, I would be okay if my woman was doing something wrong differently every day. Okay. For it to be that same, that same thing, thing that you're you know, talking about it gets me tired. But if you are doing this different thing, hey, at least that can make the relationship interesting, you know. Where I but it depends on what mm. you are doing. But mm. there's all these little, little things, you know, mm. maybe little, little things. We all know these things, mm. you know, and it's happening every day, different, different. Ah, no problem, we can go with that. But you are behaving well at the, at, at the core, at the core of you as a woman. Mm. You are, I, I see your essence, and I said, ah, no, 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 you are very valuable to me. And then I also have faults to mm. nobody's perfect. <coughs> yeah. Get. So there are some things you need to compromise and tolerance very important. But there are things that I advise men never to tolerate or compromise on. So that's three now. That's three now. Mm. The fourth mistake I see most men make in relationship is allowing the woman to do what she wants. Is allowing it? the woman to do what she wants. Yeah. Is it different from co- communicating your displeasure? Yeah, it is. Okay. When I say allow allowing the woman to do what she wants, there are some men who just they, they don't have any sense of guidance a woman needs guidance from a man you okay. understand? a woman needs your correction she needs that's a woman who is really in love with you mm. she's open but it depends on the way you now communicate it that's why i always that's why i emphasize calm mm. you need to be calm you need if, if because what people take as a family is this talking just um you know but Calm is actually better. You are children, you are observing. You have to be an observer. So, you don't let the woman just 
do anything that she wants. Mm. You understand? That's where boundaries come in. Not setting boundaries. I think that that's maybe the better heading for this. Not setting boundaries. You always have to set boundaries because you always try to overstep it. Okay. So <clears throat> you have to always be aware of a woman's test. And sometimes a woman might be testing you and you don't even know that she's testing you. A woman is emotional. She wants to see you emotional. So she does some things to see how you react. A woman does do this. No matter how good you manage, she might even be a pastor's wife. Mm. Even a, 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 a choir mistress, mm. she will still do this thing I'm saying. She will mm. still test you as a man. Mm. She will still do some things to see how you react. Mm. If, you, if you fail those tests, it, it, you, you, you will notice a decline in her respect for you. So, the, the fifth mistake that I think most men make is not knowing when to leave. Mm. You, know, you need to know where to leave a relationship. Once you have tried your best mm. and it's not working, mm. if you keep on trying, you keep on falling in love with her, you keep on wanting her more. The only way to break that cycle is to chill, relax. It's either she goes or she comes back. There's nothing you can do at that point. Mm. The woman is slowly, she's withdrawing her attention from you. Mm. She's no more giving you her time. Oh, let's see. Mm. She's bringing up excuses. This is mm. a woman that can even miss important things just to be with you. Mm. Now you see that ah, she's behaving in a certain kind of way. Mm. Because of she has shown you that good part of her, mm. you feel that this woman can change again. You know, and become once a woman removes her attention and removes her time from you, she has phased out of the relationship. It's impossible for a woman to lose, uh, to 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 have feelings for a man and not want to see him, and not want to give him her time. You understand? So once a woman has started, let's say over a month, you have noticed a decline in her in her um, you know pull to you. She's mm-hmm. no more giving you attention. She's not giving you time. Mm-hmm. You need to move. If you don't move, you fall more in love with her. If you don't move, she disrespects you more. Mm. You understand? Mm. By staying there, because you get to a point, you're not, ah, let's see now. You say, now I'm busy. You call again, let's see now. Say, ah, but can't you see? Can't, are you not? I, yeah. I'm telling you that I'm not free. You call her again, it moves up. The disrespect keeps it's on going increasing. Up. Your love for her keeps on. Mm. That's a toxic situation. You understand? That's how the drugs which I'm bringing. One person is so down, mm. one person is so up. But well, if you give her a gap, she may be the one to gap, even call you by her. Yeah. Okay, and the true. truth is that she will always reach out to you. Mm. But by that time, you have built emotional strength. So now, you see, the, 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 when a man leaves a relationship that is not favoring him, mm. despite your love for her, I'm telling you to leave. Mm. Because when you leave, she can come back. But when you leave with that mindset of her, she can come back. As time goes, you lose the urge for her to even come back. Mm. You're now, you're now analyzing the situation. I'm, ah, no, no, no. I, I'm, I'm actually misbehaving. I'm actually messing up. Why am I doing like this to someone that doesn't want me? Why am I so? Why do I want her so much when she doesn't want me? Mm. And you too. With time, whatever was going on with that girl, you never can even tell. Maybe she might even have some problems or some issues that she's facing, that she's facing mm. that she cannot communicate with you, or that she has communicated with you, but you don't know the extent to which that destabilized her and made her lose interest in you. You understand? And the truth is that there are some things that men do as relationship goes as relationship goes on mm. that makes a woman lose interest. You need to give her space. It has to be always. If you give her that space, you will see that she will be the one running to you. You understand? But if you always want to perturb her, disturb her, mm. you think it's love. Mm. You understand? Mm. I get it. Your emotions are moving you. You want mm. to always be around her. You are actually pushing her away. Mm. And now, the more, the truth is that it, it's not my fault, but the more you communicate with a woman, the higher the chances or the, 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 the higher the likelihood of a misunderstanding. Mm. You understand? Mm. If I don't spend time with my father, it's almost impossible for me to have a misunderstanding with him. You understand? But the lesser the time I spend, the lesser the misunderstanding. If you can do that for a long period of time, let's say one year, or six months where you have been giving her space and you guys are not having so much misunderstanding she would be the one not wanting a misunderstanding to happen hmm. because she now really she doesn't see you as often as much she doesn't know what's going on with you so so much so she's not trying to test you this test i'm talking about hmm. this let me see how i react you know maybe or it might not even be intentional the way she has treated her boyfriend in the past that like he accepted she's trying to treat you like that you know, that if you don't stand your ground and you know call her out on those tests, on mm-hmm. those things that she whether subconsciously or consciously, because there are some women 
who actually consciously do these things. Mm. Or there are some women who this it, it, they are doing it, but they don't even know they are doing it. Mm. So a woman, she's never no woman will say she's a bad person. There's no woman in it, there's no woman in this world that will say she's a bad person. Mm. You understand? Nobody f- believes that they are bad. Mm. You just believe that that's the way I am. Mm. You understand? Mm. If you cannot take me as I am, leave me. That's what mo- most women say. But you need to train your woman. Maybe training is the wrong word, but you need to train her into being the kind of woman that you want her to be. Guide her. You understand? And let her know that this is for her own good and they don't know. This is very true. So you know when to leave a relationship, to avoid disrespect, to increase the chances of her coming back to you. And when she comes back to you, because of that gap, you have built emotional strength. You have not seen that, ah, I can actually stay without... That, and that, that is, if you ask me today, what's the biggest factor why I can let any woman go easy? Mm-hmm. I will say because of, I told you the story of that girl who was on my mind for two months. You know, I knew her house. I knew if I wanted to go, I never went. I was feeling so much pain inside. You know, why is this girl treating me like, ah, this is a girl that was even ready to, if I can ask for anything, then I would have given her the way I, I, I just found yeah, myself so well. much in love mm-hmm. with her, you know. But I saw that, no, no, no. If I keep doing this thing, I will not get result I want. You understand? You need to think about your actions and the result they can get you in a relationship. Mm. Mm. Then you pass out knowledge that you don't you don't continue trying to no no no. At the point you relax, let her come to you. That's why I say the best scenario is for the woman to bring her emotions in. That kind of woman you can build from there and build it to emotional attachment. So mm. be with women who are interested in you. Mm. You don't meet a woman and you, you try to build her interest and you see that it's not coming up and you keep on trying no you leave it at that hmm. you understand and leaving it at that can actually increase our interest mm-hmm. okay uh based on all what you have been saying now there, there used to be this thing that women like so bad guys not nice guys do you think women prefer bad guys and in quotes and not nice guys when you say bad guys mm. these, are, these, these, these bad guys what a woman wants in essence is an experience do you understand so as a man you should be ready you are the leader Mm. You should be ready to carry this woman on an experience. You know, the only thing that I know for sure that women hate is boredom. Mm. I, when I say be calm, I don't mean just be every day boring. What is happening? Mm. You need to be prepared to live. And then I tell men already, you should be living an interesting life. You understand? Then you bring this woman on that experience. Now, why people say men like bad, bad guys? guys. Mm. It's just because. Of the experience that bad guys give this woman. A bad guy is partying, clubbing. Um, I, don't, I, I was going to go to the aspect of the streeting house. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But a bad guy is living an event, an eventful life. You know, he's doing things. He's maybe going on trips with her, having sex with her in very odd places that would make her. You know that would trigger those. Um, how would I put it now? Adrenaline. He's just she's just bringing out those parts of her that she will never experience with a quote good guy. Mm. You understand? Because of that fact, she, a woman will rather stay with a man who is mistreating her but can give her an experience. Mm. She will than go and be with a man who offers nothing but boredom. Good man in quotes. Mm. So you can be a good man, fine. But you need to believe in an, inspir- an interesting life. I say, I, I preach it always. Believe in an interesting life. You should be traveling, at least places that you must not be abroad. You should be moving mm. around. You know, you should be um, <coughs> your hobbies. Mm. You should find your hobbies. If it's swimming, playing tennis. What I said this whatever. is, if you if you if you are read, you see the story of uh, this guy. This uh, Brazilian guy they call Kaka. Yeah. And if you, recently they said his woman left him. Why? He gives her all the money, traveling, you know, the guy is very wealthy, give her all the experiences, but she said he's too calm for her liking. Mm. That is the only reason why she broke up with him. You can read the story. The story has, it went viral mm. online. How, how, long, how long were they married for? Yeah, she been married for her for a while, but she said that she, she just doesn't like the fact that he's giving her boredom, that there is no excitement in relationship. Mm. Excitement, maybe her excitement is the fact that he's too calm, he doesn't raise his voice at her, he doesn't shout out because I've seen women like that that will say, "Ah, my former guy used to slap me, and I prefer him. This one doesn't slap me, and I want him to slap me." Hmm. Because you, but your well, description now, that is right. So that is so the description now talks about the fact that you, a guy, should be calm. Don't do this. Don't do that. 
But I've seen women that broke up with their guys in the name of he doesn't raise his voice, everything he's just quiet, or he doesn't slap me. Some women will say I enjoy him, I enjoy my man slapping him. So based on the Kaka's uh, experience of the woman leaving him, because he just he's just giving her boredom based on the fact that he's not this reactive or whatever. He gave her all the good life, but she she chooses to leave him because she says she prefers where. There's some bit, some, bit of, mm. some a bit of toxicity or something like that. Now, I want you to understand that situation. Leaving him is going to be benefit her financially. Do you understand? Okay. That's one factor we need to consider. Leaving him will also give her more options. You understand? So mm. it, it improves her options. But I will still tell Kaka that you should thank God. You know, that at least, I know they were married, but mm. if there's any woman that said that or that says, that uh, she doesn't like her man because her man is not mistreating her. Mm. God bless that woman for leaving that man. No man needs that kind of woman. She she has some mental problems. <laughs> she has mental issues. That kind of woman should not be in a relationship. She should be working on herself. That's the kind of man that that that's kind of wo uh, woman that I preach against. That I tell men to leave. Mm. A woman. How would a woman say uh, my ex is to beat me? My ex is to slap me? And uh, this man is not slapping me, he's not doing that. And uh, uh, I, I found him boring. That should not be a definition of boredom. Even me, I don't like I don't like boredom. I don't like being in a place where nothing is happening. You understand? A relationship is, a, is an experience. It's like a life journey. So you take this woman on an experience. Show her different sides of you. That's why I tell me, you, have, you first have to focus on yourself first. Before you start to focus on the moment, mm. you need to first improve your life first. You need to first understand yourself as a man before you bring a woman into your life. You understand? Mm. You first need to understand yourself. What are the things I like? What are my hobbies? What are, mm. what are my strengths? What are my weaknesses? What are the things I'm good at? What are the things that I can take in a relationship? What are the things that I cannot take? What are my deal breakers? What are these? What? You understand yourself. Mm. You build yourself mm. financially too. You build yourself mentally. You build yourself emotionally. Mm. It takes time, and the truth is that it's just sad that you know some people will experience you when you have not built yourself. But there is no problem. You still have life. You can always start improving your life today. You mm. can always start building yourself today. So, so in the situation of having knowing liking bad guys or nice guys, it's just based on choice. Uh, as I said, being based on choice, that woman is traumatized. Any woman who says she likes bad guys, that's a man is treating her. Mm. She she has some problems. Every man should avoid that kind of woman. Mm. You understand? But where I would say, you know, when I think about it, when I think about it deeply to myself, I say, to a woman, good guy is boring guy. Bad guy is a guy who is able to correct her. Whether he hurts her feelings or not, he doesn't care. He's able to tell because. It's just like children. If, no matter how you correct the child, they will still frown a bit. Whether you flog them or you tell them. You know, so it's not every time no, it's not every time we remember to correct in love. Mm -hmm. Most times you say, I'll correct in love. Tell, tell her ah, this thing you did, I don't like. But most times you don't have that patience. Most times you just find yourself, this thing, stop now, why you get? Mm -hmm. So that happens and then she's not even angry at the fact that you're correcting her. She's angry at the way you corrected her. Mm -hmm. The way you talked to me, I did not like it. So mm. tell you that you understand mm. so that is what they consider bad to a, 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 a sensible woman a man who is not afraid to communicate the way he feels by time that's where every man should be you understand because that's mm. the only way you can get respect mm. because a woman will definitely try to disrespect you that's true you understand should that's we, true should we try what she has tried what she tried with her ex or with any other person what, what she saw in her family with her mother and her, should we try it with you and if you're not able to tell her that this is something that I will not tolerate, she will keep on doing it. Mm. Leading to your own, you know, you will be building resentment for her. Because you have not declared your expectations. Mm. So you will definitely be disappointed. Mm. So if women say they, keep, they love bad guys, I will never advise any man to become bad because of that's what men love. If all the women in the world today say that they love bad guys, eh, I will advise every boy to, every man to be quick, to be a good guy. Mm, but they say women can, can be in love with, with the, I mean, they can stay with the good guys and cheat on the good guys with the bad guys. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> that is still another problem. Okay. You now, 
let, that's let, another problem mm. because they all no matter how good you are they all be telling signs if your woman is a woman who's not loyal to you every man knows a woman who is loyal she might be cheating you know, but when she's loyal no man is concerned about whether when she's behaving as if she's loyal no man is concerned about whether she's cheating if he catches you fine he doesn't catch you fine but i don't think any man is so she's cheating she's cheating cheating even when she's behaving like as if she's not cheating so if she's doing that at least you don't worry yourself with like me i cannot now be thinking ah uh, it's my girl i was you know these situations just come up like yesterday now i my girl was with me and i just gave her some space and in that instance about three guys or i think two or three three guys mm. they went they, they they were talking to her they went to me and they, they were toasting her you know one part of me was like ah, no, no. she's not supposed to just leave there you know, but she, she was there and she was talking to her and I was like, let it happen. The first guy came out, feeling somehow, the second guy came out. But by the third guy, I was just like, I was even laughing with, I was even laughing about it with her. Mm. So these are, don't run away from uncomfortable situations. Let it happen and just watch how you react and build yourself through that. Now when it happens again, you don't feel that same way as naive as you were feeling the first time. That's you know, true. Mm-hmm. So every month should be open to experiences. Mm-hmm. You get. So just let it be now that's true now when when it comes to if a man does all of the other man is already invested emotionally with a woman and yeah. things you know heartbreaks happen in a relationship what do you think is the best way a man can handle heartbreak i mean a man that is so much in love with a woman and heartbreak comes in how do you handle it and move on from it okay a man can only really really be heartbroken you understand to a point where it will affect his daily life if he's so focused on that woman. that means he could leave work for her I mean, he could forfeit his passions for that woman. Hmm. Do you understand? Mm. That's a man that has not built himself. Mm. A man that has built himself. It's hard for a breakup to keep him down. Wow. He might be heartbroken, but he'll still do what he has to do with his life. And with time, you will find out that naturally, that woman has... When, when they say, as a man, you should have options, it's not always about having options with other women. Mm. It's about having options with life, having options with what you do with your time. Mm. You understand? Mm. If you have things that you are doing with your time, you will have less time to think about that heartbreak. Wow. And then with time, you start forgetting her. With time, you start moving on with your life. Before you know, say, because of the way you are living your life and your whole life experience, another woman has come into your life. Before you know, you are giving your feelings to another woman. You understand? So you need to increase the chances of you meeting a woman almost every day. Mm. You understand? And you can do that easily by just being an interesting person, living an interesting life. You you are you are, like I'm in Lagos now. I heard about an art exhibition. I was I wanted to attend. You hear that something is going on there. You know, you're in a new place. Why not something you have never done before? Why not do it? You don't know whether you might like it. You understand? You might meet somebody there. I've met people in weird places that I never thought I would have I, I would be people that have helped my life. I've met them in weird places. You understand living an interesting life taking chances taking risks is part of a man's life like i before i started doing what i'm doing i educated men online it took me like maybe two three years before i was like no i need to do this thing mm. i was scared what women think what people around me think uh they will feel like hate women they will not like me this one this one but as soon as i let go of that fear i started to do what i wanted to do i actually attracted authentic people Hmm. And now, anywhere I go to, I'm able to, when you are introducing yourself, you have something to say. When somebody is talking about something somewhere that they don't expect you to even know about, but because of your living interesting life, you have put yourself in so many instances, yeah. you can contribute. You should be a man that can contribute on any topic. Mm. When you get to that stage, you know that, yes, you are balanced. And then when you are that kind of man, mm. the woman interacts with you and see that you are, a woman will always be interested in a man who is, who, who seems interesting. But you know, there's some kind of heartbreak that maybe that can that can disorient your activities, even though maybe you have other things you are doing. That's what I'm telling you. Yes. Upon that, your heartbreak, mm. do what you have to do. Then upon your love for her, mm. do what you have to do. Okay. You understand? So I want men to act. Stoic. Despite their feelings, do what you know you have to do. Because that's the only way. It's either you, you stay in one place and suck, or you move, you and move on action. and keep, keep doing what you that's want to do. That's the only way. That's the only, there's nothing else now. Either you stay or you move. Mm. So you move is the better option. Okay, now what if what if in this in this scenario that at the heartbreak happen, maybe it's because of you. Okay. Maybe you did something wrong. Yeah. And then she moved on. Do you do you uh do you encourage a man to go and beg her back? 
if a man does wrong, yes, mm, and the woman breaks up yes. with him, there's nothing wrong in telling her you are sorry. Do you understand? But you don't keep on begging. Okay. Apologize once. Even if you cheated, apologize once and move on. You see, what you want to avoid is disrespect. Because once a woman starts disrespecting you, it goes haywire from there. Mm. Do you understand? So disrespect. And the only thing that can bring disrespect is persistence. Mm. The woman doesn't want you. She broke up with you for whatever reason and she has told you she doesn't want you. You are still begging because you think you can change her mind. Mm. You cannot change her mind. In fact, if you won't let her be after you have apologized, she'll be the one to come back to you. It's always like it, it always happens. But the truth is that she might have gone to do other things that go ahead. So that that's what you consider. But aside that factor, she will always come back. It might take two months, three months. That woman will message you one day. She will call you again. Okay. Now what if it's the woman that leaves? Yeah. Maybe she did something wrong. She refused to correct herself. She left. Yeah. And then you will nurse the heart the heartbreak. And maybe with the, along the line she tries to come back again. What do you do? If a woman leaves your life for whatever reason, mm. you need to make sure that she walks her way back into your life. You don't accept her back easily. You understand? She left your life because she felt you were not worth changing for. Mm. She felt you were not worth the work. Why should she do you, you you're not worth it now? You see, because women analyze situations far better than men. Women they pay attention to details. You understand? When a woman looks at you, she already knows that your beard is like this, your hair is like this, oh, this, kind of, this kind of eyeglasses wear, this kind of, She has already made a picture of you. You see, women are exposed to more men than men are exposed to women. Women understand men more than men understand women. Seriously? Because in a woman's life, she might have interacted, before a woman gets to 20, she might have interacted with 200 men. Maybe men that want to be with her. But you must say, man, if you don't interact with a woman, I'm all, a woman might almost never interact with you romantically. I'm not talking about maybe female friends or so. Mm. But there are some men that don't have. There, there, there are some men that don't have female friends. Mm. There are some men that don't, that don't have relationships. So they are not even exposed to women. There are men like that. And I'll tell you that there are more men like that than men that have female friends and you know in relationships. There are mm. more men. There are more single men today than last year. Mm. You understand? True. The gap is widening. Mm. The gap is widening. And that's what I'm trying to close by making men aware of themselves. And you know, if if men get better, women will definitely get better too. Now, if a woman cheats on you and you catch her, what do you do? You leave. You, you don't forgive cheating. There's no trust. One, there's no trust in a relationship. It cannot work. It's series of troubles and troubles and troubles. Because like I said before, women pay attention to details. You understand? When you're holding your phone, she wants to now see. Oh yes, a woman who was not paying attention to those things before. Now you're with your phone. First thing that is in her mind, who is he chatting with? You don't want to be in that kind of situation. Now you're out, she's thinking, ah, is it with another woman? You don't want to be in that kind of situation. Because you have cheated before. It's okay if you're not cheated before and she's thinking like that. Men like that kind of thing when women are jealous. It's not like we like it when our when our, our woman our woman is jealous. You mm -hmm. know? She's like, who are you talking to? What are you? But if you have cheated before. And then that is now like it, 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 that is why she now thinks that way. There's a problem because she will never have peace. Mm. That's why I told you that a woman can love you. She loves you so much, you understand, but you can still destroy your life. A woman can love you and still spoil things for you. Intentionally, she knows she has feelings for you, but you have done something wrong to her. She says, okay. Women are women are most women are vengeful. You understand me, especially when you try to behave as if you are you are better than them, you are stronger than them. They will they will, they will get back at you. <laughs> they will get back at you. So if a woman cheats on you, mm. you leave. You, you cheating is is non negotiable. You don't forgive cheating. You understand? Mm. Even if I cheat on a woman, I will leave. Mm. I will leave the relationship because trust is no more there, and that's the bedrock of every successful relationship. Mm. Except the. Both partners there to turn a blind eye to if I but what kind of relationship is that now? Mm. It doesn't make any sense. Do you support uh, cohabitation? Cohabitation. Mm. To what end? To marriage, of course. That is the end. But how how will they know that relationship will lead to marriage? Mm -hmm. That's where the problem comes in. Stay together for a while, maybe, but not staying together permanently before marriage. 
That, that, that's competition, right? Mm. No, 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 I don't support that. May not be permanent, maybe just for some period. Let's say maybe for like one year, six months or so, get to know yourself much better. Then maybe you now talk about taking it up the to the next level. If, if you cohabit mm. uh, and uh, you guys end up in marriage, good for you, no problem. But from a spiritual standpoint, it's wrong. I'm a Christian. Christianity says cohabitation is wrong. <laughs> Where? Understand? But the truth is that whether it's wrong or not, People will still do it. No, but if you say Christianity said we're in part of Christianity that said cohabitation is wrong. Before marriage. Yes. It, it, it just seems wrong. It's just wrong because it, it, it improves the chances of temptation. And hand, if you can say maybe sex, Christianity says sex before marriage is wrong or fornication before marriage is wrong or things like that. But the word cohabitation. Okay, if you cohabit and then it depends on who you see, that's why I said people will still do it. Whether I, whether I say it, it, it's good or I say it's bad, you know, people will still do it. Mm. That's just the truth. Mm. You understand me? So, but competition, if you guys end up in marriage, fine. If you guys end up in marriage, mm. no, 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 no. You understand? But aside that, I, 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 me, I, I like my space. Mm. You understand? So it just depends. It just depends at the end of the day. Okay, now when a guy is, is interested in a woman and he wants to go after her, he wants to toast a woman, what do you think? What are the strategies a man should follow to reach out to a woman that he's interested in? And how long should you try to follow that woman? So that if maybe she does not want you, you, so that it doesn't get to into that persistent stage or becoming like you are becoming like a nuisance. Yeah. How long should it? Because you know this, like they say, some women used to like uh, uh, play hard to get or yeah. things like that. Yeah. So how do you know the thin line between hard to get and when you should leave, and yeah. how, what the strategy to follow up? The truth is that a woman, is, if a woman is interested in you, you would know, even if she's playing hard to get, because she will still give you her time, she will still give you her attention. But the hard to get part will just last for let's say some weeks after. But she will still when you call her, she will pick. A woman who is interested in you wants to hear from you. So when you call her, she will be, she will be receptive. You understand? But she might not be. She might not accept everything. She might not express her own feelings. Or she may not say yes. I'm in a relationship yes, with you. Thank you. Or she might. Or you might ask her out. You know, she knows once you meet a woman and you are you talk to her, mm. she knows what you want already. You understand me? She knows what you want. That's why how you meet a woman matters a lot. So some, some guys meet women online, some guys meet women offline. But me, I'm, I'm an advocate of offline. You see a woman you like, why not talk to her and talk to her? Mm. That woman might not be interested in you at that point. But when you when you, the way you carry yourself, how you talk to her, how you sell yourself, mm. increase her interest. One to a reasonable extent. If you are not aspect, it increases our interest in a reasonable extent. If you aspect, it increases the it further increases uh, our interest in you. Do you mm. get? I would really advise a man to try to woo a woman if he's trying to increase her interest. That's the only way. And if you want to increase a woman's interest and you see that she's not opened to an increase in her interest in you, that's the point where you stop. Okay. Do you understand me? Mm. That's the point where you stop. So you meet a woman, you are texting her, she's texting you back when you guys are having fun. Mm. You, 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 you only set up a date with a woman when the conversation is going well. Okay. Or when, when you first met her, mm. like physically, and you guys were talking, I said, ah, we should see some other time. Mm. After a very good conversation, mm. then fine, you set up a date. Because you don't want to go and spend your money on a woman who is not giving you you know the the, the yeah, vibe right. that you want you understand you mm. don't want to spend you don't want to spend your resources because there's no need to it's not it's not a matter of if you have money or not mm. if you feel like going on a date that day and you just want her to come along fine i do that you know i just want female company mm. you're not giving me so much energy and me i'm kind of person, i am i am free from the end game i'm not after a relationship let us me let us connect if it works be fine if it doesn't work fine at any point with you there's no there's, there's no mm. biggie about it so you meet a woman you you are talking to her she's giving you advice you invite her outside because you must establish physical connection again if you met her physically first or if you met her maybe met her online or met her anyway you must establish physical connection she must see you physically you know you, you guys must establish that physical connection and see if you guys can hold the conversation if you guys can you know if you guys sync when you do that and then she's still receptive 
don't focus on if she's uh, something hard to get already. Mm. Move it. Just move on like as if you guys are in a relationship. Mm. But if she's not showing you interest, mm. if she's not showing you interest, you back down. What about the one that you 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 talk to her, you, you approach her, and she will tell you, okay, let's just be friends for now, and uh, maybe uh, then as time goes on, I will not think about whether I want to be in a relationship with you. But I think we should just be remain friends for now. Yeah, but the truth is that when a woman tells you that she wants you guys to remain friends for now, mm. Hmm? Mm. <laughs> her interest is not so high. She doesn't see you as it. When a woman sees you, she knows if she's attracted to you sexually or not. Mm. Once a woman sees you, it doesn't take a woman time. The way it, it doesn't, it doesn't a, woman, a woman can see a man passing by and say, ah, I will have sex with this man. If if uh, if the situations were right, mm. she might not approach this man, but she sees you as an attractive man. Do you understand? Mm. It doesn't take her time to do that. To, to, so if she's proposing friendship, romantically, she's not there with you. Mm. She's not seeing you as sexual material. Mm. That's going to that's gonna be a relationship that will lack sexual tension. You understand? So you meet a woman, say let's be friends first. If she's if you already have feelings for her mm. and you don't want to just let her go so much, mm. there's no problem. Let's be friends, no while. You call her once a week. Okay. You call her once in two weeks. So you reduce your non sexual attention. Mm. What you want is sexual attention. You want this girl romantically. You understand? And she is proposing friendship. There's no problem. Let's meet halfway. Okay. I'll call you once a week. If you if you or maybe twice a week. Mm. Small, small. If the call keep coming, coming then, only from you. Yes, we start building connection. But if the call keeps on coming only from me, we end it there. Let's say I meet a girl now. She tells me, "Oh, let's all be friends." Mm. Fine, no worries. Mm. And I really like you. If I don't like you, uh, just push your side. Mm. But if I really like you, I say, ah, "No problem." I'll call you. But the, the truth is that I, it will never, it can never happen to me because me, I don't ask girls to be. I, I I don't ask girls to be my girlfriend. I, I've never asked a girl. Well, I've asked maybe before, but recently I don't ask girls to be my girlfriend. I told you I just let the connect. I just let it flow. Let it go where it wants to go. I let the day we know that we are dating. Mm. You understand? Mm. But because when you tend to ask that question early on, you risk rejection. Mm. Even though with time she might not get exposed to the kind of person you are and mm. interested in a relationship. Mm. With you. Mm. You know, so there are men that will meet women today and tomorrow they are telling the woman I love you. Are you are you stupid? Are you crazy? <laughs> you are, even if she even rated you before, it's like this guy is just a testy man. This is what you tell every girl you meet. Mm. I love you, I love you, because you think it will bring out a reaction. Mm. But it doesn't work that way. You understand? So you meet a girl, she says, let's just be friends. Fine. First week, call her once. Mm. If she calls you back, no problem. If she doesn't call you, once in two weeks, the next two weeks, call mm. her only once. If she doesn't re reciprocate, we chill. Mm. You say let's be friends. If we are friends, we sure you will come. You will you will contribute to the friendship. Now. Exactly. You're the only one that will build the friendship. <laughs> it's true. So that already tells you that that woman is not interested in you romantically. What if in the friendship that she said let's be friends, she's already she's already making demands from you. I want data. I want money. I no, want no, no, this. No, no. I want that. You shouldn't do that. You should not be with a girl that cannot even that cannot. Do data for herself. <laughs> what are you doing with a woman who cannot? Who, who, that means you are you are you are still at that level of writing data for a, for a woman who does. That, how do you find her? Mm. That means you are not building yourself. Mm. And mm. so you find women who build yourself to the to to an extent where you are dating quality women. True. You understand? Build yourself to the same way you are, to the to the point where you are dating quality women. Mm. What 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 do? You, Asking me for it before you met me, were you not sobbing? Mm -hmm. Before you met me, you were not buying all those things for yourself. So now that I come in this picture, yet you now say let's be friends. I am making demands from me. Mm. It can't work. I'll make demands also. Mm. Yeah, I'll make demands. Also. <laughs> it's two ways. <laughs> That's the truth. That's just the truth. <laughs> okay, what now? Can a, is it possible? Can a guy date uh, a, a girl that has more money than him, or that is any more than him? There's no problem with dating a woman who earns more than you or has more money than you. There's no problem at all. In fact, I wouldn't like that situation because you, 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 can, you can take care of me. I like being taken care of also. I like being spoiled with gifts. I like being monetary gifts, whatever, you know. But I pray that I never, that I, that, you know, if you're any more than me, it's fine. But I want to earn enough to be able to take care of myself and my family. Mm. You understand? If my woman now earns more than me, there's no problem. You will contribute though. We'll both contribute to you know you earn more than me, you should you cannot say it's your money at that point in time. Mm. 
let's contribute together more money for for the family let's try to see how we can work on things and build things together yeah, it's a partnership at the end of the day so financially whatever we, we need to work together to build the so if you earn more than me they, they really no problem mm. but the, the truth is just that women already have this notion that a man should have better and more than them yeah and, and there's nothing wrong with that but what, what i would say is that there are women have this notion that men are intimidated by women who are successful women who you know have their shit together mm. but <clears throat> the truth is that I, i've never met any man who has told me that ah i'm scared of a woman any more than me what men are scared of is a woman any more than them disrespecting them because she contributes more there are women like that that because they earn more than you they don't listen to you mm. you mm. understand mm. you should not be so i wish to have a woman who if you earn more than me there's no problem but let us work together mm. if i make you see reasons why something should be done in this particular way mm. and you see that it's the best don't do it your way because you have money mm. you understand it, it, does, it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't build the relationship mm. your aim is to build the relationship you should be able to work with me listen to me and i listen to you we put ideas together we try mm. to work something that works for each of us at the uh, for the family at the long run that's true that's very that's true so men are not scared of women who men are not intimidated by maybe there are some there, there are some men fine you understand but the truth is that if a woman has money and she already has that mentality that men are intimidated by her success she will find she will manifest it she will find men the men that she will find are men who will be intimidated by her success because because of that mentality she will either try to rub it in the man's face mm. or keep her resources for herself so that the man can be providing for her mm. just so that the man will not feel like if uh so that the man to her so that the man will not feel intimidated mm. But this man knowing that you earn more than me and you have money also and you are keeping it for yourself, letting me spend my own, the man is already resentful. Do you understand? The man is already resentful. And then you now having that mindset as a woman and you now feeling that the man is intimidated. Any slight show of um, anything the man does, you will, will connect it to that. Uh, you connect it money. to that money that you have that intimidation you think the man is in there, even if it's not intimidated because of that mindset that you have already you will tell you you connect it so you are manifesting what you think mm. that's why your thoughts are very powerful mm. if you are if it was possible in this world that women were oblivious of the fact that if they have money a man does not does not care about their money mm. they will live differently you understand the actions and our mm. mindset will be different mm. okay now i'm thinking you know they say a woman can love you as in being in love with you and respect you everything because i've read a lot of stories of personal stories of people online on twitter and all of that when you go to twitter you see a lot of people dropping different kind of stories true life stories or real life stories about women and relationship and marriage and i used to read a lot of them and you see some women that the husband is not bad he's providing he's doing everything and at the same time they are cheating mm. what do you think should be the real why why do you think that kind of thing go up you see um you cannot you cannot change a cheater no matter, no matter the situation there are men that will cheat no matter the situation there are women that will cheat that will cheat mm. you see you're not responsible for trying to you know um find reasons in yourself as a man mm. why your woman cheated on you mm. she cheated on you without even if there's a reason mm. i'm thinking about what can be the possible reason that she did not communicate with you mm. Now, if if your woman cheats, mm-hmm. for a, for um, for, the, the truth is that in most cases, why do you cheat on somebody when you can? Why a woman cheats on you? She had the option of leaving you. Some of the stories here, uh, I say, say that maybe the man is not; they are not compatible sexually. Maybe the man is not is not making her feel the way the way she wants to feel sexually. But he's providing. He's the good man. He's responsible. Everything. Well, maybe that sexual compatibility is not there. And maybe it's this woman that maybe it's this kind of woman that loves sex or things like that. Yeah. And before you know it, they look out for someone that they have met before or someone that they have had experience with before. They enjoy it and things like that. And maybe they start going back to that person or someone else. But it, it doesn't still make it not wrong. Yes, I know. You know, so it's wrong. It's wrong. Mm. Me, I don't try. I don't. I don't try to explain reasons for actions. Like cheating, somebody cheats on you. It, did they communicate, you know, um, that you are not satisfying them? Did they communicate? Did she communicated with you. 
if she communicated with you, then you already have a, at the back of your mind that ah, okay, what can we do to it? That's the woman that wants to work things out. What can we do to improve the situation? This you know, can we get some drugs? Can we do this? Fine. You understand me? That's mm-hmm. why you as a man has to create that emotionally that emotional safe space for a woman to be able to tell you things. You understand? That's why I said be calm. If you're a man is always she will not tell you. She will even use that one to punish you. Mm. Let me cheat on you. So you, you are forming like you are, uh-huh. you know, and there are men like that. I mean that that have nothing to them, no substance, nothing. But they are the they are, they are the most arrogant men you will ever find. You understand me? Women like to teach those kind of men lessons. Mm. Women, women teach lessons to men every day, mm. and they don't feel bad about it. Mm. You understand me? So it depends on the kind of woman you 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 you, you, you are with. Is she someone that can work things out? Have you created that emotional safe space for her to be able to tell you things? To be able to communicate with you? Mm-hmm. And then you guys find a, a solution around these problems. Mm-hmm. If you have not done that, and the woman cheats on you, you don't forgive her. Or look inward. Ah, okay. This kind of man I was, that's why she could not tell me this. Okay, my next relationship, I will, mm-hmm. I will be more communicative. I will be calmer. I will listen more. I will be more empathetic. And you move on. Mm. But you, if you forgive a woman who has cheated on you, I'm talking about marriage. When marriage is different. Mm. If you're married to a woman who cheats on you, uh, what do you do? I, 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 I don't subscribe to breaking marriages. <laughs> so even the Bible says that's ground for divorce. Mm. But that's not what I said. But in a relationship, mm. dating, where me, I have more experience and I'm not married yet. So I don't talk too much about things I don't have experience in. Mm. I, don't, I don't do it. You understand? And most people, men who consult mm. me are not married men also. Mm. Uh-huh. In a relationship, you have it's better, a, a broken relationship is better than a broken marriage. You understand? A broken sure. relationship is always better than a broken marriage. Mm. Everybody can find the right person for them. Mm. If that person is not the right person for you, leave. If a man cheats on you, you guys are in a relationship, please leave. What are you staying for? You will always be insecure. She has made you. Cheating is, the, is one of the biggest things that make men insecure in relationships. Mm. You understand? Because you have, even women too. Mm. Once you are talking about men, when you even if he will take that heart into his next relationship, you understand? He will take that heart into his next relationship. So he wants it on you. So you will always be insecure around that woman because you feel like, ah, what do I don't, what don't I, what do I know how? Why do mm. you do? You try to explain it, mm. and the more you explain it, the more you are you are going gaga. Mm. You understand? And then another thing, when you forgive her for cheating. She can do it again. What happens when she does it again? If you can forgive once, you forgive again. And the more you keep on forgiving, even that one that you are forgiving, you see, actions prove to us. Actions prove our thoughts to us. Actions prove our feelings to us. If you forgive a woman who has cheated on you, you have proven to yourself that you cannot do without that woman, that you really, really love that woman, that no matter what she does, you can tolerate her disloyalty. Mm. You are proving to yourself that you love that woman so, so much. And then, when she starts behaving in other ways that you don't like, because you now know you have come to the realization that you love this woman, you forgive her. That's how the relationship starts getting toxic, mm. and that's how you start getting, you start becoming an unhappy man. There are so many many marriages today unhappy. There are so many many relationships today that are very unhappy. I don't want that for you. If you see a woman that is uh, constantly chatting with her ex, and you're telling mm-hmm. her to, to your disease from chatting yeah. with her ex or men or things like that. Even though she's trying to claim that it's just platonic or is there's nothing involved, but those are people that you have to do things with, but it keeps continuing. What do you do? If a woman is starting with her ex, <laughs> see when a woman is in love, eh, mm. her focus is on you. What she doing with her ex? Mm-hmm. What are they? What are they talking about that she cannot start? That she cannot see with you? When a woman is in love with you, depending on the kind of man you are, mm. her focus is on you. You understand? Her focus, you are now her, you are her, you are now her man. Her, her, her focus is totally on you. If a woman is talking to her ex, why in a, why being in a relationship with you? There's a problem. There's a big problem. Why are you not, why why are you guys not together? Do you want to go back and meet him? What are you guys discussing? You are opening an avenue for temptation. You understand? Because this is someone that you have been intimate with before. Mm. So you are, you, are, you, are, you are giving room for a possibility. You are giving room for cheating. Mm. You understand? So 
if you want to talk to her ex, tell her to cut off relationship with her ex. If she's not ready to do that, you break up with her and you move on. Let her go and meet the ex that she's starting with. Mm. The ex that makes her more happy than you, let her go and meet the ex. The ex who she had refused to stop talking to, mm. that she that, that she had decided to put the relationship in, uh, that she had decided to put the relationship on the line mm. for her ex. Mm. I mean, she doesn't value the relationship. I mean, she doesn't value you. I think once is enough, no? Stop talking to your ex. How will you feel if I was talking to my ex? Mm. You understand? Mm. So I think that solves that. Okay. If you don't want to leave the ex, you move on. Okay, now what if everything is going on, we're going right within a relationship? Are there signs you can use to know or you may use to detect if a woman is cheating on you in a relationship or something? I tell men you should not be concerned about whether a woman is cheating on you or not. Because if your woman is cheating on you and she doesn't want you to know, most likely you may never know. Mm. You understand? Me? Mm. Because when a woman is cheating, mm. you see, the thing with men is that mm. men understand a man will sleep with a woman who he knows has a boyfriend. A man will sleep with that woman. That's why men are always averse to women having male friends, uh, women having besties, mm. and, and, and the likes of that. Mm. Because he knows, your man knows that this boy, this this your bestie, this your ex, this mm. your this your friends, male friends, mm. will still sleep with you. Even if they know that you have a boyfriend. Mm. You understand? He knows. And they will hide it also. They don't care about you. They will not tell you. Like they'll not tell you the boyfriend. Mm. You will never know. <clears throat> he will never call when you guys are together. She will tell him, don't call at this time. Call. A man will respect that. But when a man is cheating, mm. the, the, the the woman who is cheating with mm. will most likely call him when the man is around. Exactly. So that's what increases the chances of catching a man when he's cheating. Because mm. the woman cannot concentrate on her emotions. Mm. She will just reach out to that man mm. and somehow, somehow, through text, through calls, through whatever means. It will, be will, it will be discovered that that man is cheating. But well, for a woman, when she tells the man, except you don't want us to be having sex again, don't call me at this time. Uh-huh. Don't do, don't do this. The man will most likely man will obey. Mo- because he, he knows that there's no yes. strength in, and involved. And Just men, men, like men that love that kind of more. stage. They love that yeah. kind of situation. They love it more. Yeah. <laughs> uh, having sex with no responsibility. No responsibility. Nothing, nothing. Uh, nothing. Every man will jump at that. <laughs> I will not tell you this truth. There are some men eh, mm. that if they could get sex, without dealing with the woman uh-huh. they would go for it mm. you understand just yes. get this, this is my woman who i'm having sex with mm. nothing else nothing just else have sex and maybe just we'll, we'll communicate on on some level but all your stress all your wahala mm. all your problems go and put it on your boyfriend any other person <laughs> just, me. Uh, <laughs> me, most men will take that so i think that, that that's a very uh very clear one yeah. now how do you what do you what are your advice you have for men in your way of improving their mindset when it comes to them challenging their own life to do better with themselves mm. the truth is that as a man you need you need, you, you, you have no option than to do better for yourself mm. and you can start from anywhere that's the most beautiful mm. thing you can start from anywhere mm. you can start from like me started from <laughs> reading a book you can start from anything things that you, and i'll tell you things that you don't like to do but that you know that could improve your life do those things. I, I, I didn't used to like to read before. My, my, my mom was an avid reader. She had so many books, but I would mm-hmm. always avoid the book. When she said, I'll be like self development books and mm-hmm. books like that, you know. But the day I was bored and mm-hmm. then I picked one of those books and I read it, since that day, my life changed. You understand? It opened me to a, to a new possibility. So, maybe you should start from where they are. Mm-hmm. Find your passion. That's another thing that every man has to find because that's the way you will you will flourish things that come easy to you mm-hmm. you have not found it the only way you can find it is by living an interesting life testing out different things what what what, what works for me you might not you might not like maybe you might know how to draw and um, you might have never been to an art exhibition mm-hmm. then you go to an art exhibition and you see an artist describing his works and say this is why i did this mm-hmm. and then your interest in art maybe you used to draw when you were in primary school mm-hmm. You just I just come back and you're like, ah, this is something that I really should love to do. And you start, that's where you find out you, you need to discover yourself as mm-hmm. a man. You know? Try out different things. Don't just be rigid and say, eh, you are not the way you are. Try out different. Don't say I'm just I'm just like that. I'm, I don't like this. Mm-hmm. Try it out. You don't know what can work for you. You never can know where your breakthrough will come you, you know, you cannot know where your breakthrough will come through. That's true. You understand? So make sure that you are living life to the fullest life is meant to be experienced 
So try as much as possible to experience life. Face your fears, things that you could not do before. Mm. You need to realize that the only way you will ever, 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 ever be comfortable doing those things is by putting yourself in those uncomfortable situations and trying to do them over and over again. So whatever is hard for you, just keep on trying to do it. Find yourself. I think the bedrock of a man's life should be you should be living an interesting life. If mm. you live an interesting life, it will be easier for you to find your passion. Mm. That, that, that's why I, um, I, I like to say nobody's really an introvert. Mm. You know, men that in, people that are introverts, except you are God help you, you just find something that you that you, that, that, that you find your passion. Mm. But for people like me, we need, we, we had to go out. We need to you know move around. But okay, can I do this? Thing? Can I? Can I? You just you need, just need to take out one year of your life to just experiment things mm. you know then pick something that you can you can have more than one passion you can have two passions mm. find something that comes to you easily and then replicate it if you wake right. me up tomorrow any day from sleep i can talk about relationship any day i don't need to carry a book or it's just something that comes naturally comes naturally you know, something for that god gave me and I, I'm, I'm glad that i found it early True. You understand so mm. if if i if i did not i just found that i was interested in other situations when i see a man and a woman together i'm and and from the way they are walking, from the way they are holding themselves, if they are holding themselves, if they are sitting down, from the way the man is talking to the woman, from the way the man is talking, even if I'm not hearing what they are saying, uh, I'm I'm observing, I'm, observing. I'm, I'm just interested, I'm looking at okay, what's the dynamic of this relationship? Again, that's how I found that oh, it seems I like talking about relationships. So. Mm. You understand? Mm. So if you do, if you, if you don't go out, if you don't you, you can never you never can tell mm. who you will meet. You never can tell what you will discover, you know, you just need to put yourself out there. Anyone that puts himself, opportunities will always come to you. True. You understand? True. And your 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 your, your life mission might be different things. Mm-hmm. It might at this stage of your life, okay, you did this. The sec the next stage of your life you did this. You know, your passions can be changing, but you only live that life to the fullest when you are you put yourself out put there. Yourself out you are invited, of course, mm-hmm. but where you know you, you can benefit from seminars conferences mm. you know all those places that you never have thought you would ever go to mm. go to all those places you never can tell who you meet that's you know? true now based on some of the things you said about uh, having uh, different experiences do yeah. you do you do you advise or do you think it's good for a man to have different relationship experiences before he gets married or he can be a newbie and get married if you are lucky you can be a newbie and find a good woman that you guys understand yourselves and then you get married and it works it happens you can be lucky but these days with social media influence and everything it's harder for a man to just be a newbie and find a woman who will not take advantage of you hmm. if you give a good woman the opportunity she will take advantage of you no matter how good she is hmm. if you let her know that you can be walked over she will walk over you even me if you give me the opportunity to walk over you i might not want to walk over with time i will just start i'll find myself walking over you because hmm. You are giving me the you are, you are, you are, you are giving me the chance. Mm-hmm. You understand? So, I advise men, even if you are not in a relationship, have female friends. Understand the way um, women think. Mm-hmm. You know, put yourself in their midst and hear them talk. You need to have this experience before your marriage is long. It's long term. It's for life. If you want to have several failed marriages, you need to understand women first mm-hmm. before you go into your marriage. Mm-hmm. It, 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 you just need to understand women first before you go into your marriage. You understand? So mm-hmm. put yourself out there, experience women, you know, and with time, you you you, you can you can never you, you know if you know my finish, <laughs> but it's small small. Gradually. You can pick up one or two things that can help you. Then with the woman, with the unique woman you pick, then you can now you know align some other things like that. There is this uh, pe- people that mostly say online like that Agba that mm-hmm. like I, I I referred to earlier. Yeah. He likes. He, sometimes you say, you say you can be broke and still look for a woman and be dating and think so that you, can, you guys can grow together. But you see different scenario, different uh, angles of men will say, leave women, go and make money, then women will come. Or you, before you find woman, which one do you subscribe to? Make money, then go and come for women. Or if you are still struggling, you can still look for woman to date. I don't think any man should be looking for a woman. Let a woman come to you, whether you have money or not. A broke man can find love. But just know that you have to entertain more disrespect because without resources these days, women do not fully respect you. Hmm. It's just the truth. 
she, they are, even if she, she loves you and wants to respect you, influences. Her, her friends are whispering things in her ear. What thing she's her seen mom, online? Yes, she's seen her friend's relationship. The man is doing things for her and then you don't have money. What I would say is, there's a balance to it. Don't think that when you have money, women will magically come from somewhere and come and... Or what kind of women do you want to attract when you now have money? Hmm. So you should think about it. Never lead the relationship with resources. Mm -hmm. Never lead with money. Even if you have money and she knows that you have money, don't give her the money yet. You understand? Watch her. With time, you get to know that okay, you will know a woman is after money. Mm -hmm. You will know a woman is after money. And if you, because of your love for her, you now keep on giving her. When you know that this girl is extorting you, or you know that. She's after this money, but I love her and let me do it for her. You are just playing yourself. But at the end of the day, you will realize what you don't want to realize. That she's not with you because of you. Mm -hmm. She's with you because of what you can offer her. You understand? So my advice, make money. But never use money to chase a woman. So my advice is make money. But never use your money to lead a relationship. Never use your money to try to get a woman. Because the only kind of woman, the, the only kind of woman who are attracted to your money is the kind of woman that you don't want. Mm. You understand? Mm. That's the kind of woman you don't want. Okay. You might think you want her, <clears throat> you might be in love with her, but with time, time we, we, we open your eyes to realize that this is not the kind of woman that you should have ended up with. So, there are women, there's a woman who wants their man to be financially okay, doing mm. well. There's nothing wrong with that. There's a man who will like money, there's nothing wrong with that. Those kind of women can actually love a man mm. if they choose to. Mm. But if you leave your resources, you will always you will always be taken advantage of. We always. I remember when I did not, uh, especially with the woman who doesn't have money. Mm. I remember when I did not have as much, you understand. Uh, I'm in school, I don't have money, or oh, I might even have. But I, I I can remember many times I tried to extort money from my parents, you know, because it's free money, and that's what uh, breeds entitlement. This woman is not doing anything for you. She's, if she's, like I said before, if she's making your life easier, she's assisting you, she's helping you, you have money, you have resources, huh? give her, no problem, but give her with sense. Don't, the intention matter a lot, and what you are communicating also matters a lot. There's some men, when they are giving their woman money, the woman knows that this man just giving me money because he wants to impress me. Mm. You understand? Money that she, that, 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 that is not that. You, you, you meet a, a girl today mm. and then you are sending her 200,000 naira to mm. What can you Because you love her or what? Mm. You're trying to impress her. You're trying to show her that you have money. That girl, and that can backfire. you enter a relationship with that girl, you'll be ready to spend be ready more. ready to spend more. You understand? But if you meet a girl and you go for the connection, you get a stock and then, you have money, yes, but let, let the money wait first. Build a connection with this girl. This girl actually even like me. Can we work together? Oh, she's somebody I like. Mm. No problem. You guys start dating. Mm. She's so interested in your life, helping you do this. I Me, mean, I don't give you my money for free, but I will take you on my on, on, on the ride. My experience. When we go somewhere, I'll buy, we'll buy food, we eat. This boy, I, I just, I just stay like this. I just send you money. Why? <laughs> I have things. There are things to do with money. That there are things I want to do with my life. With money that I have not done. Mm. I need, I need more money. What am I sharing my money for? But I, I, if you need my help. I give you but just giving you money for free. Am I trying to impress you? Hmm. Why am I giving you money? Mm. Oh, you need help. I have the money. Fine, I give you. You need to be somewhere. You need, uh, you mm. need to borrow money. <clears throat> Fine, I give you. I give people money every day. If I if I have, and you ask me, and I have, why not? What about some women that will say that you have money and they come into your life? Maybe they, are, they, they because they are not interested in your money. They pretend that they love you. They pretend that they respect, they care, everything. But because of just see that you have money. Mm -hmm. Maybe if that money is not there, you really see who they are, their true color. How do you know a woman that is pretending to love you because of what you have and that truly loves you? She will always show it. If you see, how long can she pretend? And I hope you are not in a rush. Any man who is in a rush to get married or to be in a relationship will always miss the signs. Mm. That's why young men go for connection first. The signs are always clear. Men let love blind their eyes. Men let... Um, rushing into a relationship, they want someone to just be their own as soon as possible. With the girl, you are so overwhelmed, you love her so much. I want this girl so much. You have, you know, you're looking at, you are just looking for how to impress her to get her to be in a relationship with you. Mm. You will miss so many signs. Hmm. But if you calm down and you go for a connection, you guys are talking, 
you have money, yes. She, she asks you, and what do you do for a living? You tell her, okay, it seems like you are doing something mm. uh, and that brings so, that much, brings money. so much money. Mm. Uh, I mean, I will chop your money. You, mm. you just say it in a way. Mm. You, laugh for you, you just laugh and mm. go and keep on talking. Mm. She makes another statement regarding finances. Mm. 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 You will say in the sign, small, 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 she will be sneaking in. in. If you let the woman talk, she will, she will expose herself. Mm. That's why you need to be, always remain calm. Let her do the talk. Let her do even on a date. When, I'm, when I go out to the girl, I let her talk. Just do, uh, ask you questions, you will talk. From there, we we'll enter another place. But you will, you will always talk more. I don't have anything to say. This is like an interview. Mm. But it's not an interview kind of boy. It's just like I'm seeing if you can work for my life company, for my family company. Can we work together? Mm. Can we team up? Mm. So I'm what I've tried for myself. Let me see this woman who I want to bring into my life. Let me that's the way it should be. You work on yourself as a man, understand yourself, make small small money, be comfortable, then watch then just like the woman is coming into your life, you are observing her. Okay, okay, okay. okay. It's not the one I'll marry. She goes. And you you meet another woman. That's the way it should be. Not rushing into you meet a girl like her. I can love a girl and she will not even know I love her. Mm. Mm. You understand? Like I have strong feelings for you, but I've learned to, oh more, let's be calm. Let me observe you. Mm. There's no need to rush anything. Mm. There are some people that when they date, maybe Sense they may date. Yes, yeah, they may date some girls that are maybe at a distant place. Do you do you subscribe to long distance relationship? The girls in different states, you're in a different state, and you guys are dating. And mm. do you uh, for a long or something I've like that? I've always had a problem with long, long distance relationship. Mm. You know because it's hard to. To, to to maintain a long term relationship will only work if you guys were together before for a while. Let's say we, we were both in Lagos, we, we dated for like one year, two years, we understand ourselves and everything, and then we are still we are in love with each other, mm. and then you travel, mm. you have to go to another place. Mm. We can work, we can we can foster a relationship, you know, mm. and can travel sometimes. You can travel, we already understand ourselves, we are already in love, we are already. You know, mm. yeah, you're already probably emotionally attached to me or something. Fine, but in a case where you guys meet well, online meet or online, connection somewhere, meet online and then we yeah. meet physically. Mm. That time that we meet physically, how long is it going to be? Physical connection is needed to establish emotional attachment, and only a woman is emotionally attached. Uh, only if a woman is emotionally attached to you, that's the only way she will not cheat on you. When a woman sees disloyalty to you as a sin. Mm. So you cannot just there's something you cannot just do. Like you cannot just take a gun now and go and, and go and rob. It's just something you cannot you can no matter the the, the force. Yes. You are you not can't that person. It. You yes. can't do it. You understand? So I advise men, I hope God bless you with a woman who sees cheating as something that will, it's will alien to destroy her. her soul. You understand? So the only way a woman will see cheating on you as a sin, like cheating on you as ah I I like she will be, she, she she will not be able to. You need to make her see it on you as an iniquity. I mean, she needs to see it that way. The only way she will see it that way is if she's emotionally attached to you. Like she's, she knows that this will hurt you deeply. You, you don't want people that you guys share a different kind of feeling. Because mm. before you act, you will think about how that person will, will feel. Mm. You understand? Mm. Mm. You build emotional attachment, emotional connection. By experiencing different ranges of emotion with another person, mm. like your, like your, 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 your mom or your, your family member, mm. you have seen them cry. You guys have cried together. You guys have, you guys have laughed together. You guys have gone through grief together. Mm. You guys have experienced all the ranges of emotion together. Mm. You know, you know, and it makes to it makes it improves the bond. It builds the emotional attachment to the extent where. You cannot talk bad about your mother, no matter what she has done. Somebody At all. You, cannot, you cannot now join them. And yeah. That's the way. It's impossible. That's the way you, you should pray that your woman is. Mm. You mm. understand? Mm. That she will defend you anywhere. When they're talking bad about you, she will defend you with her life. True. You understand? Mm. She cannot be disloyal to you. Either in your presence or out of your she presence. She cannot. She will always have your back. That's the kind of man you are. That kind of man cannot cheat. Mm. You understand? Cannot, but if you're now with the woman who is now insulting you, insults you to your face, safe, it's hard for that woman to not defend <laughs> you at your back. You'll be thinking. So yeah, that means that. it's difficult to, to do long distance relationship. That the that someone is different from a different state and 
the Ghana different states. Yes, it, it, I, I don't, I don't like. The, I what don't, if, I what if you guys are building it and maybe you should not say, okay, send her transport for her to come and visit you? Why don't you have transport to come and see me? <laughs> <laughs> maybe well, you, well, yeah. I, I, if it depends though. Um, if we are talking and I'm the one saying you should come and see me, mm. then I, I should say I, I should definitely send you transport. Okay. You understand? But if you want to come and see me mm. and I, I'm not ready for it yet. You pay your transport and come prove your love now. Men should give women the 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 uh, the, the open space to prove their love. There's some men who, when their woman do, does something for them, they are like, ah, don't, you don't you don't worry now. You don't have to accept that gift. Mm. Accept whatever she's doing. Accept it because th that's what make it harder for her to leave the relationship. Mm. Women leave relationships more than men. A man can be dating five women, and you he, he cannot still break up with anyone. Men find it hard to initiate breakups. Hmm. In my experience, men find it very hard, no matter how bad the woman is, as far as there's some maybe sex or, or something, hmm. and maybe they don't have any other, they will stay there. <laughs> you understand? They'll be tolerating it. You get it. But women, oh, once they realize something, they don't they have moved. Hmm. They have more options than men actually. So hmm. they easily move on, they easily break up from relationships. Hmm. You understand? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is this is very interesting. Now, what else to begin to to wind down? Do you do you support partners having access to each other's uh, phones, devices, or things like that? You know, like they say online. Like I used to do online. That we see, you see some guys will say, "You don't have access to my phone. I can't give my password or things like that." And you see some guys will say something like that. Maybe you can cause some acrimony or some issues in relation. Do you use what do you think in that? Um, I don't subscribe to checking your partner's phone behind them, like at their back. You pick somebody's phone when they are not there and are checking. No, no, no. There has to be something that prompts you wanting to check your partner's phone. Because, like I said before, trust is the bedrock of every relationship. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. I don't just go and meet my woman and say, hey, Give me your phone, let me check. I'll start scrolling your WhatsApp. Wait, wait, wait. I don't, I don't do that. Mm -hmm. In fact, I've never done that. Except something prompted it. I'm not like, Okay, come, give me your phone. See, see, see who is this person? Then she's not telling you, uh, yeah, okay, okay, be fine, no wahala. Something must prompt it. You don't just go and take somebody's phone and you are, you, are, you are checking. You understand? It doesn't make any sense. But if you guys have agreed to give access to each other, um, your mobile devices, there's no problem. You can share you, your passwords. But for me, mm. something has to prompt me wanting to. Yeah, what if the other person says, I don't want you to have access to my phone? Then, then they're hiding something. Something is up. Something is up. But it depends. Mm. It depends. And because if you said uh, they, they have to be some a prompting. I read on one what, one very interesting what, story what online. Access? Yes, you access see? means like you can have anytime, maybe, you anytime you want. You, you can. I, I don't do. That. I, don't, I don't want that. And you, can, you could you could be that you could not be like and when anytime maybe you and your partner are together at home and maybe she drops her phone maybe she's doing something and you just have to pick up the phone and then go through it. No, 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 no. If somehow you are, you are, oh, you are your partner breeding, is sleeping, you just pick up the person's phone no, and go no, through no, no. it. You are breeding distrust. If you must use somebody's phone, mm. you must have their permission. Now, this is where you, you went, some, some people will hear yeah, this and they will not agree I with you. I some girls and, and yes. I said, let me, let, let me check your phone. Mm. And she says no. I chill. We cannot be, uh, give me your phone, let me check. He says no, mm. then you are now pestering. Now that you, this said uh, this thing you said now, I've read a lot of stories. You know, most of some of these my questions and uh, experience in relationships since I've been reading. Okay. The, no, it's not because it's not because it's not personal or since I've seen, but I've read people. They're, they're, if you go to Twitter, mm -hmm. there's some pages I follow that share real life stories, relationship, marriage, and things like that. So I've seen a guy that said he trusts his girl, and that's why I'm telling you about the fact that you. What I that's why I asked earlier on whether there are signs you can know whether your woman yeah. is doing something behind your things like that. He trusts his woman. There are signs actually. Uh -huh. So everything, uh, everything about the relationship is going good, as in perfect. One day he picks up her phone, just a uh, casually, not without with any intent, picks up her phone, opens the phone, and he saw. He, he, he saw the heartbreak of his life. It's even, so, it's even better that way. Uh, that you don't. He, what I'm against there, eh, you can mm. check your partner's phone. You, there's nothing wrong with that. But it should be once in a while. It should not be something that breeds distrust. You know, even if I'm not doing anything and you're like, give me your phone, give me your phone. I'm not. Are you. Are you. Can okay, you give me your phone? Let me give you my phone. Mm. Distrust has seeped in. Do you understand? Let it be. If they are cheating, you will see signs. If and what are, are the signs? Because I, I remember asked earlier. 
you and you, so, didn't, you mentioned so, the fact clever, that uh, it is so clever that you did not find out you mm. still find out one day what, what are the signs is that you, you, you don't get any stis or you don't get uh, get any diseases but signs that a woman is cheating you will, uh, i was saying um you won't why in marriage why it's hard to discover cheating in marriage mm. you guys are most times physically present you, know, you guys are physically together mm. so cheating will only happen when maybe you are you're out of the house or mm. she's out of the house that kind of thing so it's hard to you know find those signs because at that point in time you're already used to that person so cheating will happen when you are not around that person you understand when you you already used to this person so whatever they do when when they go out you are not so bothered when they you know you are you already used to this person when they, when when she goes out you are yeah you are like okay fine when she, so you might not really be able to pinpoint you know uh but in a relationship when you guys are not always together mm. it's, it's it's actually easy sometimes when you call her you notice that her, she's changing her voice or she's somewhere mm. or you hear you hear a man's voice that's that's mostly the way we catch it in these days or checking phones and stuff like or somebody's calling always calling her when mm. she meets you you will just know that yeah okay this girl is cheating but is this pos- it's still possible for a woman to cheat and not show any signs she might cheat once and maybe that maybe it might just happen and then mm. that's it you never get to find out till both of you die it happens scenarios like that you don't have to be worried about a woman cheating on you you should be worried about is this woman contributing to my life if she can contribute to my life and have enough time to still cheat why satisfying me and doing it i don't care because you can cheat and i will not find out so why am i so concerned about her cheating but if i found if i find out that's where it ends <laughs> you understand? So I don't go out looking for mm-hmm. uh, if you are cheating or not. But when I find out that you are cheating, we go our separate ways. Now, to one of the final questions is that is it possible for a man to love more than one woman at the same time? It's possible for a man to have feelings for more than one woman, but it's impossible for a man to love more than one. even a, a woman. It's impossible for both men and women to love more than love. When we say love, love is love is deep. You know, love is not just feelings. <laughs> Love is deep. Love is not infatuation. It's not lust. So it's possible to have somebody you love and still lost after that person. It's possible to have um, love somebody and still, you know. But the truth is that if you love somebody and you find yourself having feelings for that person, it means your love for that other person is reducing. You understand? So you might have loved this person before, but at that point, the love is not the same as when you met that person. Because when you met that person, you were giving that person all your attention, all your focus. So something's happening that's making you, you know, have space to accommodate another person, whether it be lost or infatuation or whatever it is. So you can love and have feelings for another person, but you cannot love two people equally. Hmm. You understand? You cannot love two women equally. Okay. It's almost impossible. But one thing that I know is that a man can love a woman and still cheat. Mm. It, it happens every day. It's happening now. <laughs> and, it happening it, and it wouldn't be any. Uh, it wouldn't be because he has uh, he has lost uh, love for his own woman. It depends on how this woman is behaving. That the woman is, but it's not the woman's fault. That it's, it's nobody's fault when somebody cheats. It's not your. It's not the man's fault. It's, it's not, not the woman's fault. fault. It's not. But your behavior can actually push somebody to cheat, or you might not push them. It might lead them on that path. And then when they cheat, when you catch them, the only thing they can hold on to is that thing that you did that led them on that path. But you had the choice to either communicate, express, like communicate mm. and tell me, ah, this, I want to leave. You did not do that. You did not tell me that you were losing feelings. You just cheated and I, then I found mm. it. So communication is very important. You understand? So if, you know, you uh, somebody cheats on you, it's not your fault. But you, you can, your behavior can lead you know, your woman on that part of cheating, on that part of, because your behavior will break the emotional attachment that she has for you, can break the love, can reduce the love. Like, so a man that is always whining, complaining, every time he's shouting, you know, you, you, that emotional safe space is no longer there. If a woman can talk to you, can tell you anything, she cannot cheat on you. You know, that's why I told you before that if a woman sees cheating on you as a sin, to be hard, to be hard for you to you, mm. very hard. And the woman who sees, she's not, a, she's not you as a sin, she's contributing in more ways to your life 
and you're not worried about her cheating. You understand? She's contributing so much to your life that cheating is the last thing. You cannot even believe that this woman cheated on you. So even if she does it, you are not concerned. You understand? If so, if somebody will do something and you will not know, why should it bother you? If somebody will do something and even if you know it will not move you, then it should not bother you. You understand? I, if, imagine now I'm with a woman. Maybe she has so much money more than me. My my I'm married. Uh, maybe no maybe not my cheating is only the deal breaker. But maybe I'm with a woman and she has more money than me and she's contributing to my life. She's helping me in one way or the other. And then I see her maybe talking to another guy. I will not get angry. If you if you, if me, if you fund my life, take care of me, do everything for me, if you teach on me, yes, I will leave. But if I see you talking to another guy, some people will uh, describe it as simping. How can you? Simple. That is someone you want to marry. No, or someone you just want to have fun with. Yes. Okay, someone you want to have fun with, not to marry. Okay, just fun with. And that one, many guys do that now. Many people do that now. Yes, they see that. Me, I don't have a problem. I don't. You talking to another, not cheating, or talking to another guy. Fine, but if you cheat, I, I cannot. My ego will not let me stay. Yeah. Because I, ah, no, no, no. My ego will not let me stay if you cheat on me. Okay, now, oh, now, now, my last question is, uh, how do you know a guy that is not serious with his life based on how he behaves around women? Based on how he behaves around women? Mm. Okay, one thing I don't like about some guys, and some guys who behave differently around women, they try to, this is your friend, this is your guy, yeah, when you guys are together, everything, but once they see a woman, you notice that this person is not his authentic self. He's either trying to belittle to the other men around so that the women will see him as, or he's making jokes that he will not make normally, or he's you just notice that this guy is this is not my guy. You. One because the woman is around or women around is now trying to be more stylish, you know. That that, that one is like, you should be authentic self no matter what. Always a woman that likes you like that will like you like that while improving. So self-acceptance is necessary, fine, but self-improvement is more necessary. While you accept yourself all you are, make sure that you are also trying to improve. Because you are not the best version of yourself yet. So as you are as you are improving, as you are, you know, doing self-improvement, self-acceptance should be part of it. So accept yourself where you are. Understand yourself. Pick out, you know, the areas of life where you know you 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 suck at mm. and try to work on them. You don't mm. need to even be a pro. Just be working on them. It even improves your 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 life expectancy. Mm. When you are doing something outside yourself, it makes there's something to look forward to. Mm. There's something to learn. Mm. There's something to gain. That's kind of life I want every man to be. Have a vision. Look at yourself. Just think in the next 10 years, where would I be? What's something I can be doing from now to the next 10 years that I will become a master? Every man should find something that they can become a master. Master something. If it's True. one thing, become so perfect at it that hmm. when people think about it, they think, think about your name. And I can see in, in, in Nigeria now, if a man if a man is going to a permanent relationship, if I come if I come across my, my video, any time of your life, if he has relationship problem, he thinks about me first. So many people have told me that. You understand? So, and I'm not who where I want to be. Mm. So you you can see what happens when you follow your passion and mm. what God puts in you. Mm. You understand? So mm. everyone should find that thing that they are masters at. If you find that thing, mm. it will feed you, feed your generation. Mm. True. You understand? That's and true. you always feel fulfilled. The aim is to feel fulfilled. What I am doing. This thing I am doing, am I doing it for people? Am I doing it for myself? Mm. Do I really believe this thing that I am saying? Do I believe this thing that I am doing? Am I enjoying myself? Mm. I am. I am. One of my one one of my one thing I like one of the skills I like developing always is networking. I like meeting new people mm. because I believe that I'm where I am right now because of the people I know. To get to the next level, I need to know. I need to know another person. There's another person that I need to know mm. to keep on moving. There's some someone else I need to know. Why people I know right now, yes, they have that's that's why where I am. Mm. If I know the president, my level don't change. <laughs> you know. So True. every man should just go for mastery. Go for your passion. Networking is very important. You cannot build wealth without knowing people. Mm. You understand? So mm. introvert or an whether you're an introvert as a man or an, or an extrovert, mm. try to make that conscious effort to network with people. Put yourself in places where you will not you will not normally put yourself. Mm. Because that's where you discover yourself. That's true. So take life as a journey, take life as an experience, and put yourself, you know, just embrace life. Mm. Then spirituality is also very important. You know, our generation, we are, we are forgetting God. We are forgetting God a lot. 
and we feel that we can do without Jesus. Mm. And uh, you can do life without Jesus, but you know that it's better with Him. Mm. You know, just just having something outside yourself that you can submit to. You understand that you can relate with. You talk talk to God like your like your guy. Like mm. so what's happening with me now? You can even sit down alone and. It doesn't have to be because I know our, our generation now we don't like spirituality so much. There, mm. no problem. But just to take into account that you are not here by yourself, and to discover yourself, something has to help you discover yourself. That's true. If not, poor people will not exist. If not, people who are living visionless lives will not exist. So calm down. As they, whether you believe it or not, mm. God is God. Mm. That's the truth. And people who are believing Him are living richer lives. Than you that is saying that uh, you just want to live your life like that. <laughs> you, you don't have to be perfect. You don't have to be either. You don't have to be a saint. You don't need to. You you will sin, no problem. You will do things that are bad, no problem. But have God. Let God be by your side. Don't live life alone because you think that life will not work well for you. Life is easier when you have God. Mm. When you have somebody that you can that you believe this person is. You want you want to live your life like uh, just live your life. But what what? Nothing wrong with living that. There's somebody that that is protecting me. There's That's somebody true. that loves me. There's Somebody that I, I, I can talk to. That's true. Now, I wanted to ask this question before I, I skipped it. What do you think about feminists? Um, if feminism mm. is for women, if feminism is for, you know, women development, women empowerment, mm. women um, equity, because mm. I hear these days people say, I don't believe in equality, I believe in equity. No problem. If feminism is all about improving women positively, if feminism is about making women realize who they are, putting them out there. Bas- uh, just basic, as I have said, and I'm a feminist. I have nothing against a, a woman developing herself. If she deserves, you know, the position, why not give it to her? She deserves, not because she's a woman, you will not say. But that's not the definition of what most people are putting yes. feminism out there. So any other feminist that says women the should quality, behave like men, and behave like women men. should express themselves, uh, uh, like maybe get naked, show your body positivity, all those things. I don't subscribe to that because I don't want a woman like that. And whether I subscribe to it or not, feminists do not care. That's the truth. But mm. for me, I want a woman who is cultured, who is who is not so who is not out there doing outlandish things mm. all in the name of feminism. Do you believe in traditional role of a woman? Yes, I do. I believe in traditional and, role. And so when you say, when you believe in that if you believe in traditional role of a woman, that means what feminism usually is most some of them usually interpret it is more or less like if you come to a home as a man, you, you can we can wash plate, you can do any other I thing a woman do, do a hand. I can do that. And so, what what does the role of a traditional role of a woman looks like in this African setting? All right, you see, me, I mm. can wash plates, mm. I can cook, mm. I can clean my house. Mm. Even sometimes when I have a, a, a woman over, I still do these things. I'm not even if I eat, I pick my plate, I wash my plate. I don't. I'm not waiting on anybody to. To help if you do it fine if you don't it's no problem but if we get married and i see that you're not ready to contribute or even while we're dating i see that you're not contributing you're not you're not willing to to do those things because see women make rules for men they don't like hmm. when she's dating a man that she likes all those rules they we got her they threw it away i cannot cook for a man let her meet a man that she likes she will cook for him she will serve him in, she will even feed him you understand? Mm. So I want a woman who, who, who loves to take care of people, who loves to nurture, who is soft. I like me. I'm a very calm person. I like I like to be with a calm woman, a woman who does things freely. She's not looking for no expectations. Because that kind of person, I don't want anything from me. Let us just grow together. Let mm. us just do something. Let us just build something. No hatred. No. Let Let us live and forgive ourselves along the way. Help ourselves grow. And mm. if things don't go well, no problem. You know, if things go well, fine. Let's live life as it as comes and carry God along. And I think no. everybody will do well in life. That's they true. can live their life that Your way. personal That's experience of since you started doing sharing about men and yeah. things like that, or women maybe not liking you or having issues with you or yeah, things yeah. like so, that. Some women have messaged me and told me that I'm the reason why their boyfriend broke up with them. <laughs> you know. <laughs> one of them sent me, um, I think it had seven minute voice notes. Seriously? I'm not listening to it. <laughs> What, what? <laughs> you understand? Yeah, some, yeah, some will tell me they don't like me. I, but there's no problem. I don't. I don't want a woman that doesn't like me. 
you know, <laughs> and I want to put my mindset out there so that you know what you are dealing with. And mm. if I tell you doing this thing, you just have been dealing with. They are, they are, they are as submissive as anything. And me, I don't take advantage of of, of, of anybody. I I don't take advantage because you are a good person. Mm. I, I will not start trying to maltreat you. I will never treat a, a a good woman badly. No, I won't. If you are good to me, I'll be good to you. If you are bad to me, I will not be bad to you. I will just shift back. They go. I'll stay on my own. You understand? So any woman who doesn't like me, it's fine. I don't want. I don't want a woman who doesn't like me. So you're you are not you are not who I'm looking for. Mm. You understand? Mm. I have women who like me. I'm, 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 I try. <laughs> you understand? I try. It's okay if you don't oh, like God. me. You know. You sad I don't like me. If you know mm. me, actually, you will like me. Mm. But you, you, if you will take, you see, I don't judge anybody until I meet them, until I have an experience. Whatever you do online is a part of you, but that is not the whole you. You understand? There are friends that are made, female friends that are made, even after they're like, ah, so you can be kind like this. Mm. Why? So you thought, oh, which, what kind of person do you, did you think I was? I'm family. <laughs> <laughs> Right, yeah, so, you have spoken so much, Joe. Yeah, <laughs> you have spoken so much. What's, what's your final words that you have to share to guys? I just want my 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 whole aim for doing what I do. I just mm. want men to realize that they are more than the thing they are. Mm. You understand? Not to malign any other gender or malign women. No, but to realize that they can actually be positive influences in the life of the woman that they choose. You understand? Nobody's perfect. That woman can help you, you can help her. Mm. But since we are the leaders of relationships, mm. you understand, a man defines when his woman gets married to him. Mm. You understand? People say a woman gets keeps sex, a man gets keeps relationship. Because mm. the man that we ask to be a, to be due to be his girlfriend, mm. the man that will ask you to marry him. Marry if him. he doesn't ask, you will ask, but he's still the one that will consummate everything. Mm. You understand? That is one that will um, agree. Even if you're the one that brings up the idea mm. as, as, a, as a woman. So, I just want men to be positive influences in life of the woman they choose. Any woman who is not willing to, you know, change, if she, if she, if she, is, she has some character flaws, any woman who is not willing to work with you, let her go. Letting her go will teach her a lesson. That, that's why I always preach let her go. If you let her go, and you are good, so mm. be good. That's why I say positive influence. When you are a good person and somebody comes to your life and the person is bad to you, mm. if you let if you let that person go, either of two things, either she realizes that ah, this guy was a good guy and see how I've messed up this good thing, or she goes ahead to continue behaving the way she behaves. Either way is a lesson. Mm. If she learns and stop her next guy, she treats him well. Mm. You have done something good for that woman. Mm. You end up with her, but that, that feeling that you have for her will go. Everything will go with time. It's mm. time. Mm. You understand? Mm. But if she doesn't change and she continues um, with that, then she never gets married. Then it's good. At least she never she did she did not spoil any 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 man's life. Mm. You understand? Mm. And truth is that women are more than men. Mm. So in in in, in actuality, that some women will likely not get married. So let them. Let those ones that don't want to get married, let them stay on their own. Mm. Let the women who are hard-headed, mm. let them stay on their own. Any man who knows me, I want that man to be happy in any relationship he is in. Mm. Not by dominating the woman, but by being a positive influence on that woman. Mm. So, marry a woman who is willing to be led. Be with a woman who is willing to receive your leadership. Who is willing to learn from you. That's why I say build yourself first. Mm. If you have not built yourself, you cannot come and be claiming that you are a leader. Or that you can help any woman build yourself. A woman has to see you as above her if you want the relationship to work perfect. Hmm. If a woman feels that you are equal or she's above, she's above you, it will likely not work. You can say so many things about feminism and equality and partnership and whatever. If your woman does not, at least in the back of her mind, even if she never tells you, see that she has something to lose mm. by not being with you, mm. it will get her to behave well. To be on our best behavior. True. You understand? That's what I want for men. Mm. So men realize who you are and be a positive influence for other people around you. That's what I want. Great, great. You are truly great. <laughs> Very great.
you are doing great. You are doing great. You are doing great. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank so, you, much, so, much, thank you so much. Thank you so much. So guys, this is the best podcast I've been in. Seriously, <laughs> thank you so much. I've said things that I've almost not said anywhere. Wow. Because of your questions, the way wow. you, the way you, 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 you know, no, no. You brought pressure. out the best in me. Also. Wow, that's you great. That's best. good. You are really great. You thank you, man. I admired your work for so long. Serious. True. Yeah, yeah. And I've waited for this time, and it's ah, good to have you here. Yeah. Good. good. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So guys, thank my very good guest here. Be great for this very powerful you session. Guys should support, support, share, please, please, <laughs> we have shared together. So, if it's the first time I'm coming to your channel, do it to hit the subscribe button, like this video, share it, and also don't forget to turn on the post notification. And if there is a way you, or something you have that people can buy into or subscribe or follow, you can share it. Okay, my YouTube page is just a Nigerian man. I'm just a Nigerian man everywhere Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, YouTube, just a Nigerian man. Uh, you can search great tool also. And our advice, men, you know, if you have problems with communication with women, get my ebook, Text in 101. And then I have a course that just completely covers everything uh, about a man. You just want to improve your life through my own lens of life. Mm. Get my course, Become a Complete Man. How do, you, how do they get it? How can they get it's it? It's online. Just, you can start Become a Complete Man on the internet or message me through any platform. I'm, I'm active mostly on Instagram. So message me on Instagram, Become a Complete Man. You can just put Become a Complete Man seller. Then I will give you a promo. Mm -hmm. uh, so you have seen that already. Right? Become a complete man seller. You will get a promo or a discount. Send me that discount. message. That phrase. Become a complete man seller or just seller. I'll give you a discount. Mm -hmm. yeah, so I'll guys, you've yeah. you've heard you heard from our very great guest here. Yeah? So I believe you have highly been impacted from the, in this video. So you can share it with people that this video is really going to impact and thank my guest once again. And I remain your host Benzik, and I'm going to see you again next time. Cheers. <laughs>